You having a beer? No. You don't like beer, do you? I like very specific beers. What's that one? I got a mixture of beers for that reason. I really, only beer I really drink is like a a Corona, maybe. I got that. And like a Guinness. I brought, I brought Corona. I got a Corona in there. <laughs> it's St. Patrick's Day. Oh, it is. Oh, my it's St. Patrick's Day. You wearing green. I might have a little beer. I thought that's why you wore green. <laughs> I totally, it is the 17th. See? I totally forgot. <laughs> I do not keep up with white holiday. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. I, I just like beer, so it's a good excuse to drink beer on the podcast. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's the white but. man in you. Niggas <laughs> 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 like, it's Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> now, I do love, I love Cinco de Mayo uh, now. <laughs> the Mexican should be standing up. Yeah. Cinco de Mayo is crazy. White people say. get more excited for Cinco de Mayo than... Like their own holidays, this shit is, like I feel like white people go up more for single day. My, well, not more, but like I feel like it's equal. It's single equal energy to like and St. Patrick's Day is pretty naked and naked. I want to say yeah, it's pretty, w- but that's crazy though. But in terms of Mexican holidays, Dia de, lo, de los Muertes goes way harder. Yeah, but the that's day of the dead. The, yeah. yeah, the Dia de oh, goes yeah. way harder. No, no, but that's for but actual they, Mexicans. Yeah. yeah, but what do they do though? Yeah, that's, that's, that's for all the. Yeah. You ever see there's, those there's the painted no skulls? But there's no drinking yeah. involved. Oh, every right? holiday is a drinking holiday in Mexico. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no, but I mean like single the, the white people. Right. The white, white people, people that's exactly. just, ain't their day to it. wear yeah. sombreros and do every Mexican stereotype together. For sure. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 I don't know why no, no, no. white people in America celebrate Independence Day of Mexico, but <laughs> it was it was actually just white people that were doing it. I do respect the way you said that, Jeff, because even though you speak English, you decided to make sure you know that it's Dia de los. It's Dia de los Muertes. And man. I respect that. <laughs> but I it do is Dia of the Dead. Hey, man. I try yeah. to, like, you know. No, you're respecting the culture. I try I understand. to. understand. I understand. Yeah. It, that was what that movie was about, right? Yeah, Coco. that cartoon. Coco. 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 Yes. Coco. Yeah, Coco. It was that. that yeah. there, was, there was another one, too, like The Book of Life or something. It was another animated movie that, that was wait, about yeah, that, like Mexican You're right. Theme. You're right. Book you're of right. Life or something like that. The one with the guitar? No, no. That was Coco. That was Coco. That was Coco. But you're right, though. There is no... Yeah, yeah. They had the same, like, skeletons and all that stuff. The Book of Life or something. Yeah. Yeah. I want one Look of those dogs, of though. I do want one. Of, I want one of those hairless life. dogs. Uh, uh, with the start with the X that I can't pronounce the name of. Yeah, th- that one. Oh. Yeah, those dogs are insane. I've never seen that. Mm-hmm. Me either. When the CGI looks like that, I don't. I don't want to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, outside of Pinocchio, I'll take that in Pinocchio. They look like puppets, but that was like also Mary like Ants? 1874. Uh, that's true. Like, that's true. That's you know true. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Like, that's true. That's true. Like, that was when it was <laughs> a <laughs> Pinocchio. No, I'm not watching we, that. And we never saw 1874. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And we also <laughs> never seen it, so niggas was up there. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. True. that's a fact. So yeah, watching, I'll watch the classics when it was appropriate. But it's like I don't like that shit. I doubt it. But is it on Netflix? What is it on? Uh, might be a Disney movie. I didn't say it was Book in theaters. Just, it was like, definitely in theaters, though. Uh, it wasn't the, the Book of Life Second Studio. Century, yeah. Oh, uh, 20th Century Fox. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's a big deal. Real yeah. 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 Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro. Toro. That's a big deal. Okay. Yeah, that's a huge uh, deal. Uh, I saw it. I think I saw it. I never no, seen I that. Seen I'm gonna check it out. I just knew of it. 2014. I mean, it's yeah. basically like it gotta the same be on one of the streaming shits. I got all of them shit, so it gotta be on one of the motherfucking. Yeah, that's before Coco then. Yeah. Yeah. It was before Coco, yeah. but it was—it's the same message though. It's Coco like, made me cry too bad. Hey, look, Familia is. I feel like Coco made okay. everybody cry. Coco yes. was a good movie. Can't watch it too. That was much. a really good movie. I've yeah. only gotten like thirty percent of the movie yet. I haven't finished of watching Coco? it yet. No, no, yeah. it's the. It, I, when Drew told me about it, he was like, yeah, "Coco is good." You know, it's like really emotional. I was like, mm-hmm. "Okay." I started watching it, and like the whole movie, I was just like, well, "It's not emotional." Yeah. But then at the end, when he starts singing this song to his grandmother, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, "Remember Me," yeah, or something. I, oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> so the um, the other one that came out after Coco blew Coco out of the water. So nobody remembers it. The one that had like we oh, talk about Luna, Bruno. Luna, something. Uh, Encanto. Encanto. That's the one I watched. Encanto. That very That's often. what it is. Yeah, we don't yeah. talk about Bruno. Love yeah, Encanto. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that was the one. But, yeah, during the pandemic. Encanto was up there with like Moana and Frozen. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. Moana, don't put that up there too high. It's really Encanto. good, but I don't know. I'm talking oh. about for kid wise, Moana's up there. Trust me. I heard there's a live action. Yeah. Moana it's not like out. it's not like Frozen. Oh, like yeah. Frozen has I been going for years, but. I, I actually saw this one. Moana because they came out with that Moana doll, so all the all the Pacific Islander kids. All the little Spanish girls that got a daughter look like me now. Moana. They got a donkey in this? Moana is definitely up there. Is that an actual donkey or is that it's a donkey? Well, yeah, it's in, it's in uh, Mexico, right? They're you in gotta, Colombia. You gotta have a donkey. Oh, Colombia. You gotta have a donkey. You do? 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, they live in the mountains. They live in the mountains of Columbia. Yeah. Like, why? Why do you have to? Because they got farms and shit. Yeah, they live in the mountains yeah. in, in the mountains uh-huh. of Columbia. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they do. They do. They just be having donkeys, man. It's yeah, I'm like, like shit. Why is this a requirement? I know it's really weird, but it it's is a mule. Mule, yeah. they be hauling shit. They have you know an animated movie with black people. It's like, is that a watermelon? Yeah, right. Yeah. But they have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to. Yeah, like, oh god. Yeah. He's like, is that a piece of fried chicken? I didn't yeah, know yeah. if it was something I was missing from their culture or some shit. Yeah. It kind of is. Yeah, it actually really is. The yeah. burrow. You got to have a burrow. Yeah. I want to go see the Aztec temples. Yes, yeah, yeah, me. Or, uh, yeah. I want to see the Mayan temples. The I want to see uh, yeah. Machu Picchu. Yeah. Is where it's on I want to see the uh, the ones in Egypt, too, but yeah, I kind of want to see the ones in Mexico first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have a, I feel like your danger level is a little higher in Egypt. It kind of, it, it fluctuates, you know, like your yeah, kidnapping they said level. What do you mean? Not You're, kidnapping. Uh, I think hustling. Maybe hustling. Really? Yeah, they like, do be they do be kidnapping though. Yeah, okay. Egypt is kind of like Egypt. They try to charge you for everything. I've been saying yeah. that on TikTok. Yeah, I've seen. Yeah. Yeah, try I've to seen ride them camels and shit. Like try to sell you. You ask for directions. They want to charge you for that. Right. Charge. Just don't even talk, dude. Like just don't even talk to them. Just keep walking. That's it. The exchange rate is so low in Central America that mm-hmm. we can just we're like we're like royalty there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because pesos, man, ain't shit. Mm-mm. Yeah, I feel like I'll have like if I ever go to the. The pyramids, only I- thing that's fucked up though is oh. like the government. What is that noise? Yeah, I heard it too. The squealing noise. What's that? What's that noise? Oh, oh. oh, your neighbor is she's working in the garden. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's like really putting in work. That's she was out out. there working. Yeah, and I the was dog like, was just out there supervising. Like yeah. you just watch her. Like you're getting it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. She, she didn't was, even look up. Like yeah, she she's, is, she's she's working <laughs> over there. Is it because the door's cracked? Probably. Yeah. Nope. Nah, that window. Yeah, yeah it's all right. Garage is ghetto, man. Yeah, mark yeah, that for me. <laughs> <laughs> mark that. <laughs> Mark, yeah, yeah, just mark it. Yeah, yeah that moment. currency rate exchange is crazy. You see that video of uh, mm-hmm. Kasanek gave that uh, gave that dude in Nigeria five bands. I no. saw that. We're gonna talk it. about. It. Yeah, we'll talk about. It. Hold okay. on, let's okay. open this up. You can count on me. You can count on me. You can count on me. You can count on me too. You can count on me. You can count on me. You can count on me. You can count on me too. You can count on me. You can count on me. You can count on me. You can count on me too. You can count on me. You can count on me. You can count on me. You can count on me too. Money. Uh, welcome. 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 To the Thrill Podcast, where even the artists can be fans. AJ the Menace. Shane and Petty. Cherry TNT. And your boy Jeff. White man's on the boards. Girl. <laughs> Florida, Florida Mac is on the boards. That's me. <laughs> and we back, you know, another week, episode 288. Yeah. yeah, man. We're back, you know, we got the yeah, topics galore. Man. I got a lot of North Carolina joints in here from Reddit that mm. I pulled right before. Oh, nice. Um, but y'all want to start? Yeah, that Kassanet thing was yeah, kind of yeah. crazy. Yeah, what is going on with oh, that? Yeah, so, the, yeah, so the Kassanet thing is, like, he's in Nigeria right now. Okay. Right. Him and Phantom are in Nigeria. And, I mean... These streaming kids are world global superstars. Yeah. yeah. Period. Like yeah. especially Speed. Speed yeah. is definitely global because he connected himself to uh, to FIFA or soccer. Mm-hmm. <gasps> he messed that bag up though. Did he? Yeah, he did. How? Because he, he went to the World Cup and just couldn't help but be like American level racist towards Spanish people, towards Japanese people. Oh, uh, well, mm. well, I mean, what deal? What did he mess up, though? I don't get what he you're saying. He did like a, I don't know. He did like a Japanese accent in front of a Japanese uh-huh. person or something. I don't remember. He, he was doing too much. Either way, it's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he, he's, his, his, he doesn't do well traveling the world. He's, he's a little too uncultured. It, it yeah, doesn't do well. Oh, and show. Kaisenet, dude, <laughs> Kaisenet is like, he is. Kaisenet's he, responsible. He's responsible yeah. with his with his power. What was that sound you were making, Shane? Huh? huh? Uh, yeah, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get us canceled and shit. Yeah. You want to do that again? It's like, what was that, Melody? <laughs> Terrible. Um, yeah, so he's in Nigeria right now, and I guess as soon as he landed, of course, he's getting mobbed. He gives some dude five grand. And uh, Randomly? American? Yeah, pull, pull American. Up, yeah, US pull up stuff. the... Uh, it's $8 million in Nigerian the conversion currency. Is. Oh, right. Eight oh, million, so, and uh, he knew whatever that. their dollars yeah. are. He didn't, no, he know, didn't that. know that. So the, when guy, he, the, the video is of the guy... Yeah, showing. Yeah. He was just like, "You gave him how much?" Yeah, the video. And he's like, yeah. no, "No, why would you do why that? Why did you do that?" Yeah, and he was oh. like, "What do you mean?" Like, he just changed his whole life. 
Literally. He just he just gave him generational they wealth. Gonna kill that. I'm not just gonna to kill me, that man. Take that money. <laughs> to me, it seemed like he was more uh the guy that was in the car with him. He go was back just, up. He seemed a little concerned. Uh you can actually go down to that short. It was That's right there. That middle right? right there. Yeah, that yeah. first one, yeah. Yeah. Legos is popping though. I can't well, I gave him everything. You give so many five K. Huh? Calm down. I, I can't you give so many five K dollars. I don't know. I'm going to push out of this car. I'm going to give you a boo. No, you give so many five K dollars. No, I gave the, the guy from yesterday. I don't what? I forgot. Bro, do you know what five K dollars is? Eight million. So he's a millionaire now? Yeah. I can't buy well, <laughs> 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 but the crazy thing is, I don't That's know. Crazy. I don't know if he was upset. Yeah. It almost, I couldn't tell if he was upset or he was like, nigga, you just put a price on our head. That's what I um, think. I feel like he just put a price on that man's head. Yeah, that's why he's like, okay. well, not even oh. that guy's head, but for them. He's oh, like, yeah. He's like, bro, now people gonna be following I'm us. supposed to be your guide. You just made us hot as hell in Got this, in this yeah. country. They know you're yeah. riding around with millions of people. Oh, yeah. okay. Naira. You know what I mean? Naira. So, yeah. Nah, yeah. That's why, because I was like, in my mind, I'm thinking if he's just casually giving away 5K, if this is supposed to be his tour guide, he's obviously getting 10, 20, probably something, you know, yeah. something more than that. Yeah. Your tour but guide's like, yo, Nick, what the? Just say, bro, <laughs> you just made it real dangerous for us, bro. Like, yeah. now Damn. everybody knows you just casually got that kind of money. That's oh, it's just you know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, he's being a little risky with his money. Yeah, so and, it's, it's, and it's like 5K is nothing to him. That's why he did it. Right. And he won't even think of nothing of it. Because in America, that's a lot of money, but it's not life-changing money. No, not at for all. For him, and that's I, nothing. Right. And especially for him, because I'm honestly thinking he's getting like a little bit more than half a million a month. Mm. I don't know if he's clearing one million a month. See if you can look that up. It's a lot. Back. Yeah, it's a lot. <clears throat> he keeps how much he makes really tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, yeah, how much does Kai Sinet make? These, uh, these guys are getting pretty crazy with these uh, IRL streams, man. I... Uh, Oh my God! Monthly income one point five. Jesus Christ! Nice. Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah. So he, it's <laughs> fine. Little boy is going crazy. It's I fine. love it. I, I, I He's love doing it. charity. It's fine. <laughs> I love it. Crazy. Little boy We're going doing crazy. life wrong. Apparently, <laughs> he he did nothing wrong. Zoom, in, in my zoom eyes. in on that. Because what is this? Uh, yeah, Casanet has an estimated income of one point five million dollars, and his net worth is reported to be around twelve million dollars. His reported income from Twitch alone is three million dollars per oh, wait, year. Wait, okay, yeah. one point five. Okay, one point five a year is uh, you're looking at. So yeah, he's making a hundred and something thousand a month. Yeah, you're right, nigga. What? A hundred something thousand a month? Yeah, one one point five million dollars per year equals a hundred. No, that says a month. Monthly That's a month, bro. He's making oh, one point five oh, a month. Yeah. Monthly That's income an is an one point yeah. five. He's making yeah. three from yeah. Twitch. Yeah. From Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, yeah. I see. He's worth more, way more than twelve million. I was like, actually, neither their estimates he's actually way more. Off. Twelve months. It's way more than twelve million. That's what he's reporting. No, yeah, exactly. The net worth is reporting. The net worth is always wrong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, he's making way more than that. That's insane. Let me see. So yeah, he's really. Making like sixteen million dollars or something, crazy nine hundred thousand a month to taxes. So he's banking six hundred k after taxes a month. A month, mm. yeah, yeah, that's insane. That's yeah, insane. I get that. I get oh, that. I did sixty percent. Should have been forty percent. That's what the uh, million taxes. Done, yeah, it's pretty much forty percent. Yeah, forty to fifty percent. But that's fair. If you're doing it correctly, it's um. Around forty percent times. That's 24. assuming he's playing the game like they so want him to play it. So he's doing six hundred thousand in taxes. So he's mm -hmm. almost clearing nine. He's clearing nine hundred thousand a month after taxes. Mm. So he's almost getting an M a month, and I'm sure there's months after taxes where he does hit his M a month. Definitely, yeah. which is fucking crazy. Still, hey, I know that when he had Nicki Minaj up there, he was stupid that month. <laughs> That's when he broke his streaming record. Yeah. yeah, I mean he keeps topping it, and there's a lot of um, there's a lot of videos that have been going viral recently that other streamers have been making, mm -hmm. and the reason is because Kai Sinet's stream is so big he takes all the live viewers. Mm -hmm. So like, right. there's this video of this dude. He was like, "All right, Kai's live. Go ahead the, for the for the four niggas that are in here. You can go ahead and leave. <laughs> I know you're gonna leave anyway." Like, <laughs> and then they got other videos where like. People are like fake freaking out. Yeah. Because they said literally, like, you might have 200 people in your stream, but when Kai goes live, everybody suffers. Like, you, yeah. there's, you can't go live when he's live. You know, because he controls them. He soaks up yeah. all the viewers. He yeah. soaks all of the viewers. And they, they're, they're people, some people are trying to get him to post his streaming schedule. Yeah. So that they can know oh. when, when they, when they <laughs> when can they survive. Do. 
No, wow. but you know, there's a part of me that kind of feels proud though that a a brother yeah. has this amount of power. Oh yeah. That other white creatives are just like, oh shit, when this guy is streaming, we gotta watch out. I mean, he's so young. Too. I mean, it could have been a white dude that's yeah. doing this, you know. Like Mr. Beast is like whatever. And Moist Critical, he does that too. Yeah, he does numbers sure. like this. But to have like a, a you know, that's Just one like thing a I young, can say. A but young a, black a brother kid. that has yeah. that type of power is like, look, I don't know, I don't watch your shit, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but you clearly hey, control it. Yeah, you're doing <laughs> yeah. something right. Yeah, I agree. It, it is. It's hard to do that. It's hard. Just to don't make us look bad. People like that. <laughs> But he, he has a good no. He like, doesn't. He yeah. he's always good. He's pretty. I mean, he's not yeah. clean. Yeah. But uh, in terms of like ve- language and content wise, but like he don't do no crazy shit. Mm-hmm. He doesn't get caught up in but, scandals. He's yeah. not. He hasn't like. Yeah, he stays within the guidelines. Tried to sure. do a political party thing where he's like advocating for Republicans. Or, you know, he's nope. pretty much doing him. He yeah. stays, yeah. He stays apolitical. He yeah. he draw, he toes the line really well. No, no. I would just, yeah. I would just, you know, say be careful with the buffoonery, as Spike Lee would say. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> that that's what I meant by making making us look bad. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and I mean, like, there's only the consequence for that is really small. So yeah, you know, it's really sad. But the consequence for what doing. I did just said the word. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah for doing oh, it. Yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> I forgot it's right there in our face. <laughs> Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Three exclamation marks. Yeah, you you said right the in. um I don't know about the cons- consequence being low. Mm. In terms of what? Who Jeff? What are you talking about? Because yeah, you talking? so what I'm getting at is I'm saying that yeah. okay, so the consequence for acting that way, for 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 um just being loud and being a stereotypical black streamer because yeah. that's because like we have a we actually have a reputation at this point as uh, as black streamers for just being noisy and that's obnoxious. Kai's. That's, yeah, that's like loud and shit. the whole general well, like I show speed Kai. Oh, that yeah, whole yeah. Gen- there's a whole generation of like that's the popular black streamers. That's kind mm-hmm. of they have this. You could clip them. You, they clip them out often on on you know, like and they'll make it where it's a compilation of clean of, of clips of them just stream of screaming. They're just like yelling. yeah right right right. Yeah. So <clears throat> either way. But what I'm getting is like is that he toes that line really well, okay? Because he does do he does plenty of that to keep the viewers, the young viewers. It's like a part the, of you that has to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah like at the end yeah. of the day, it is entertainment. He keeps that audience, but at the same time, he keeps the respect of the people who aren't part of the W community. Yeah, whatever right. You call it. Mm-hmm. I hate to use the their terminology. Use. You know, what I mean? but like, that's what they call themselves. L's in the chat. Yeah, you know I'm saying like that's, that's <laughs> W's in the chat. W man, <laughs> W, <laughs> w man, like the the eighty. Chat, lost what should I do, chat? Yeah, <laughs> chat. like I, I couldn't imagine having chat? Aiden Ross's community. They're so yeah. like they're just they're so dangerous yeah, they and like crazy. volatile. And the second you say anything, they turn on you. And they just anytime you have a guest on, they show off for your guest to make you look bad. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. just their chat is just like, toxic. I don't, I don't know what, what 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 word we use. I don't know. The part that made me laugh, the, or Childish. one one Childish. video that made me laugh is I saw Kaya's like when he I think when Killer Mike won the Grammy. He was like, "Who is this guy? Who is this guy?" Yeah, yeah. Was like, yeah. That got him kind of in hot water, but not really. No, no, no not like, not really because I'm sure it's like his fan base don't know like who Killer Mike is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't care either. Yeah. It was like just the old heads are kind of just like. Yeah, that's a crazy thing. Like in ten years, he'll only be thirty-one. Right. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my and gosh. And he's starting off crazy, doing more than twelve million a year right now. Yeah, he's set. He's set. He came like. into this world and just did this. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, he almost can't fumble the bag. There's like almost no way. And if he does, then it's like if he fumbles the, the bag, it's 100 percent his fault. But 100%. that kind of uh, transitions perfectly into niggas who might be fumbling the bag, which is uh. Bruno Mars is in debt to the MGM casino for fifty million dollars. Fifty mil. What did he do? What? He had a gambling problem. What gambling, gambling issue. Yeah, he had a recent. Problem. He, he it's yeah. like he's had it. It's a real mm-hmm. thing that people struggle with. You know what I mean? And I, I mean I, that's I, the only way to really blow. It's like gambling, or I feel like fifty million. You can't even do that on drugs. You'll 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 OD before you get to fifty million. So <laughs> Look at yeah, his face. yeah. <laughs> Something yeah, like that. Was this a, uh, Bruno Mars is, alleg- is allegedly racked up over fifty million in gambling debt at MGM Las Vegas. MGM basically owns him. News oh, Nation reported it was he makes Nation, ninety million dollars a year off of a deal um, he did with the casino. But then he has to you don't have to move, don't move it. Uh, then he has to pay back his debt. He will only make one point five million per night after taxes. Oh no! Which it's even funny. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's it costing that a month to do that. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, I can't so, even put gas in my jet. Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny because it's just like. You ain't even, you barely started, and you you in debt already. You ain't getting right. 
Talking about uh, Bruno? Gambling? Yeah. Nah, no, Bruno. No, I'm not, no, I'm saying like for the for the set. Like he's splitting with he basically him. just True. did it for free. Yeah, 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 yeah almost. Basically. Yeah, almost. It's a hobby. Let me gamble and see how much I can make. But if I don't make nothing, just take whatever you was gonna pay and me. Again, anyway. And the casino will just let you continue to do that. What will they? they will. But that's the thing with the High casino rollers. too is that uh, the the you can get it back. <laughs> technically, technically, like, like you, yeah. you're you're able to. You yeah, yeah. like you can yeah. technically like by the way things are structured. Yeah, you can win fifty million back. Well, True. that's 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 how they lose more. Well, yeah. exactly. They try. have that mindset yeah. because yeah. it is try. technically a possibility. Even though the casino is going to do whatever they can to screw you over, mm -hmm. like it is a possibility to make fifty million dollars in this building. Absolutely, right. they're just not going to let you do that. You well, know. I mean, one thing, one telling sign is that the casino knows the game well enough to let this high roller go $50 million in debt to them. Yeah. And that's another thing, too. Like, he's down 50. They'll let him win, a, like, five, like yeah. five hands back to back that yeah. are like five to 600,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you'll feel so good. Get his confidence Cause up. Because that, that's so much money. Yeah. You're like, yo, in the last five minutes, I made $2.7 million. <laughs> and then over the next week, they get 3.7 out of you. Mm. No, I get that. <laughs> it just I wonder what Bruno, I want to see if you can Google what his game what his game is. I wonder what his game is. Oh, what his is. Oh, yeah, because nobody is, uh, spends that much and they're just fucking hopping to every table mm -hmm. that they. You know, they, a specific everybody game has a game that they're. To. Yeah, everybody has a game that they're addicted to pretty much. To get Always. fifty million in the hole, what do you? You'd be playing blackjack or something, or, right. or craps or some shit. I don't even know. Poker, um, maybe. I feel or, like blackjack. Uh, could, I'm, I feel like control of blackjack. Yeah, I feel like more of this is like a uh, roulette thing or mm. right. What's that? What's that? What's that? Baccarat, 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 backgammon, baccarat, backgammon. Yeah. Same thing. Backgammon, backgammon, backgammon. Yeah, uh, can't see floating millions playing a poker game. So I thought it was blackjack that got deep in the hole, but I don't know. This is a regular thing. Mm. Yeah. Bruno Mars allegedly gambled away tens of millions of dollars in Vegas. MGM basically owns him. Oh, that's the same headline when you read. Yeah, if you're fifty uh, million dollars in the hole in poker. You're, you're just not. You're, Where's the poker? Yeah, so he connection. spoke as a professional mm. poker player before. Okay. Mm. Yeah. He's okay. Good. Poker okay. sounds about right though, because I mean, because your buy-in can be insane. You know, yeah. like everybody's sure. buy-in can be one million, and that's fifty games. No, you're right. Mm. You're two bets away from being fifty million dollars. Yeah. Game. So yeah. that's true. Yeah. If everybody's buy-ins a mm. million or half a million. It doesn't take long to get to fifty million at all. Mm -hmm. You know, we be having poker nights. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like you go all in with somebody, and that's it. That's it. Like you just lost ten million dollars. Toby. Yeah, McGuire. I wonder how many. Like, yeah, Toby, Toby McGuire, McGuire is that. apparently. An yeah, asshole. Toby has a gambling problem. They made a really? movie after him. You brought yeah. up right huh? the movie they made after him. They didn't say uh, it was Toby yeah, McGuire, they, yeah. but it's yeah. It was Michael Sarah was playing a, a Toby McGuire character. Yeah, you know, like yeah, his, yeah, yeah. they they didn't even say his name in the movie yeah. and in the book. Twenty one, but it, no, not carpool 21. karaoke. He talked about his love for poker. Oh, so oh Bruno name? Mars yeah, did. Okay, so okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably poker. And it makes sense, though. Half a million dollar buy-ins, yeah. The, all mm. of a sudden, the winner can make up to, what? How many people play poker? I mean, as little as you want. Well, it you just can, have to you be. You can have, like, it has to be at least in a casino. Yeah, if it, if it has to be at least two, right? There's probably at least five or six if you're in a yeah, casino. Yeah, you can play, like, ten people low-key almost. Yeah, you can have some big-ass games. Yeah. yeah. Damn, I wonder if they still have that show. Like, there used to be, like, a late-night show that used to show celebrities playing poker. I remember. I remember that. You remember, I remember. Like, I hell yeah. Um, Ray J's ex wife that. just won the poker competition. Yeah. <laughs> Princess. Like, Princess Love. That's she just won. Really? She was like, yeah. She was like the. She, I remember like years ago, she had said that she was getting really into it, like on one of like the love and hip hop shows, but I didn't know she was really getting into it, but she fucking won. Ooh, Damn. She fucking won. She cleared all that shit. She fucking won. That was her. I think that was like one of her first competitions. Damn. Yeah. Damn, so what, what, luck or she just that fucking... No, she really was poker's, playing poker. Poker okay. skill. Yeah. yeah, like she really, it's, for I mean, years, she was like It's definitely some luck, but... Um, building her skill up. Yeah, because you said that was her first time. I right? think that was one that of was her first competitions. That was her first competition, but she'd been playing... Her first competition. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so okay. she'd been practicing Learn, for her. Yeah. Right, learning to play I think I remember shit. that, too. That well, was you have to, you have to like qualify broadcast. first, so you have to play for a while. Yeah. It's like bowling or pool or anything else. You have to qualify first. Princess Love, who is... uh? What does she even look like? She's like um, black and is that the one that Vietnamese? he pushed? Is that the one that he like black pushed into the pool? Into, yeah, he gently tapped into the pool. Yeah, <laughs> nudged into the pool. Yeah, I forgot about that. They had a daughter. So together, that was her. Who's he married to now? 
I don't think he's married now. Oh, okay, okay. Or maybe they still, they might still be together. I was about to say, I thought they were going to last forever the way he was talking about her. Yeah. But I guess you never know. She's like Filipino and black. Man, that's an intense stare. They, they both a, have it, yeah. That yeah. is a <laughs> Coke stare. <laughs> <laughs> he's still on that shit. No, that picture looks like they broke up at some point. Well, I mean, that jagged line in the middle. <laughs> that's what my vision looked like. Though. And he got gray <laughs> hairs in this one, too. She stressed him out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they was on, they was on yeah, love and hip hop together. Says, Damn. Mm. They was on love and hip hop together, and that was the one that he that he pushed into the thing. Mm. That shit was Wait, toxic. She like she threw he, a drink. They, the... he was she he did something. She threw a drink on him. Yeah, yeah he, he was trying to leave, cool. and he, she, she like was trying slowly. To him. And she like the way and she, he like moved. He gently moved her out of the way, and she. But you remember the way that she did the she, the first she, drink pool? She, yeah, she. It was like it was like. It was Literally. like that shit was. Grace, I was graceful, she like huh? she like yeah, took a drink I was like, and then I like said, damn, you are really a professional it. at throwing drinks on niggas. Like That's it. crazy. Right. All of that shit. Connected. She didn't make a scene at all. Mm-hmm. Like if Straight she was, face. if it was a busy restaurant, they would have never made a scene with the way she threw that first drink. <laughs> well, you know, women have the privilege of like hurting others, knowing that violence typically won't come back their way. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> especially yeah. if it's you know towards a male. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then I think I feel like they meet that one nigga that's just like. I hit bitches. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, box her the fuck up. That's what happens, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens, bro. Ah. I've, I've had girls do things to me, like, not often, but I've had girls do things to me to where I'm like, man, if I beat women, like, <laughs> man, this could have so been that. This is, yeah, this is, this is where it, the, the fight starts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? This is how this happens. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, okay. like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you understand. Like, <laughs> so you, a nigga will punch you. Uh, like, yeah. somebody else would punch like, you. Like, right, I will right, do right. it, but I, I understand. Yeah, I get right. it now. Yeah. I'm just getting the fuck up out of there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I guess the rational mind state is that if you get a drink thrown in your face as a dude, you're probably just supposed to eat that, right? You got to eat that. Yeah. Because, because chances are, you had yeah. some portion of like you probably said something that was like you know. Well, you could throw your drink back in her face, and then we just have like a fucking. Honestly, I'm 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 picturing myself doing that. That doesn't feel good at all. I, I, yeah, you, said, you, drink drink you probably said something. <laughs> Hell no, man. You don't think if you got a drink. Like, I mean, like, no. you, you said, like, maybe fighting work. Like, if it was a dude, like, y'all might fight that. That's what I'm saying. It's happened to me, and I don't even be saying crazy shit to women like that. Yeah, I don't know. That's why I'm like, I, just, I, don't know. I just ignore them. You know right. what I'm saying? Wait, wait. Threw a it. drink in your face? Wait, wait. I've never had a girl throw oh. a drink. I had a girl throw <laughs> a drink in my face at the bar one time, and then I poured mine over her head, like, Oh my god! Damn. I remember that. Do you remember I remember what that. you said? Do you remember, do you remember the conversation? Like, no. Mind if I stick it in? Nothing. Yeah. I didn't say nothing. Oh, like when I walk, like when drunk? I walk by, I kind of bumped her. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. When but it's oh. like we're in a busy club. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. She had that coming. Yeah. Okay. That. Yeah. That. Was, yeah. But these bitches just do shit. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't never poured no drink in nobody's face. That's never. That's never thrown drink. Not in public. That's because Cherry throws hands. Not yeah, in public. Yeah. I threw my I think face I, in I his think face. I, but... I think I, I think I might I, I might have poured a drink on my ex one time, but it was because like he took my phone like oh. to be petty, oh. like like you're on time. Like he now. was like no like yeah he was like mad. I wanted I was wanted to go out with my bitches. He took my phone. Uh, I'm like, that's my that's shit. like when I see those TikToks where they're like, he hit my car keys or something like that. <laughs> like just dumb. Or she hit my car just keys. I'm like man. Yeah, so shit. like poured a I poured a, a lemonade, pink lemonade on him. Bro, mm-hmm. some of them people, bro. It's really the people. Is when they spend too much time together. I feel like those be the ones that do the most vicious shit. Like, yeah. if you live together and work together. Yeah. They be doing the most vicious shit to each other. Because it's like, bro, y'all don't have no break, dog. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and work together. Yeah. And work together. Right. Oh, yeah. Shit. Like, you never. ride to work. You do 40 hours at work. You come home. It's, that's, that's, that's strange, too yeah. much. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot. No, you do need it's more natural norm- yeah. space. You know? And it's yeah. more natural to spend more time with the people at work than your spouse, it which is, is kind of crazy. It really but is. that's essentially overall what it kind of is. It's always that, like, because you're working so many hours. You have a lot. You a have day. a locked in 160 hours a month with these people, exactly. If not more, mm-hmm. that's not counting sure. overtime, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Full time, and you don't have that with your partner. Yeah, you got your 48 hours on the weekend. Yep. You got your four, depending on what time you get off, your four to six hours Monday through Friday. Yep. Yeah. And then that's it. And that's if you're not doing any other side hustles. That's if you're not doing. Yeah, that's if you don't have no other side you, hustle. Yeah, I mean, you, just, you get off work and come home. And that's that's if you don't have not doing your chores like enough. Or car, or, or uh, car. not cars, kids, kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. kids. Exactly. Right. So even if you do those four to eight hours that are like everybody's at home, it's still not y'all. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's why it's like, well, better find a job that you like. 
Because that's the way you're going to spend yeah. most yeah, of your so time. Yeah, so it, it is. That's the, it just sounds weird to say. Yeah. It's more natural to spend more time away from this person I chose to spend the rest of my life with. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, but I guess the security is just like you have something to come home to. Yeah, yeah. You know? that's, the, that's, that's the, the biggest thing. That's the like, whole thing. Right. Yeah, it's not being at home all the time. It's having something to come home to. You know? Yeah. Something uh, comfortable. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's kind of like you are going into it with the idea that you're not going to be at home that much anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when you get home, have that chicken ready. No. <laughs> <laughs> have, my, have my plate on the stove. <laughs> on the stove. <laughs> he said, um, you want a housewife, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the housewife, speaking of the housewife thing, housewife, I was talking to somebody I don't know recently. That, actually. The housewife thing is interesting. This is the thing with women. I've realized you have to keep them entertained. If they If they get bored... All hell breaks loose, <laughs> and but oh. only the problem with that is that women get in bored at a drop of a dime. In what in what way? You mean like fucking the mailman? It could lead to that possibly. Yeah. Wait, 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 but but that's, I'm not even thinking that. I'm just thinking y'all might just have issues because she's overthinking everything, yep. or she's watched mm-hmm. so much Oprah that <laughs> yeah, that's that like day. she's yeah. got yeah. she's not she's Same. so like into she's. She's channeling all of that energy that she has into yeah. the wrong thing. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's like, I feel like as men, we have to keep your energy channeled no, right. For sure. or we will have issues. If you've been distracted at work all day, you come home all like unsuspecting. You don't even realize it was a trap set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No idea. She's been just seething all day about this shit. Yeah, this shit's kind of crazy. Yeah, man. it's the house. Yeah, the housewife stuff. That's where it's sort of like shady. Well, the housewife yeah. thing is different just because. Wait, well, oh, I, I thought that's what you were talking about. I mean, I was talking about okay. that too. Yeah. Right. And then I was I was talking to an older guy and he's like 60. And he was saying that him and his, him and a lot of his friends, when they all retired, because they're 60, they retired. Some of them have picked up new jobs already. Because, you know, like if you really got your. 30 year job pretty early in life, like right for fresh out of high school or mm-hmm. college or something like that, you're retiring pretty early. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But long story short, he was saying that like a lot of his friends around his age, when the kids went to college and they retired from work, or mainly the, the first issue, the first time they started having problems with their wife again, because he was like, of course, there's problems over these 18 or 25 years that we're raising like. These Children kids, shit, yeah. but it's like it's problems that we know we're gonna get past. Mm-hmm. So much shit He's like, do. once like the kids are completely gone, or when they start getting high school and they're like more self sufficient, mm-hmm. he's like, nigga. He was like, we all were just having issues that it's like, bro, there's no light at the end of this because there's no much, there's more time. Yeah, to like, yeah. You don't got nothing to do but think. You don't got nothing, nothing to do but, but, think, but and think, and yeah, think, bro. Or or to be with each other because you it was you guys and the kids. So yeah. it's almost like over that long that eighteen years or whatever, you kind of forget how you were without the kids. Who am yeah, I without yeah. my children? Yeah, yeah. It's just like, wait, why? Yeah. why? Well, then you start reevaluating everything. Wait, do we why even do we like each other? Yeah, do we even like each other? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Especially because you go into it and one of your main one of, one of your main goals is to raise a family. Yeah, and then and you so do like, that. Well, family raised. All right, well, now, now what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, I agree. What do we do it, now? It does, like, you to, Maybe you people don't say that. So yeah, the housewife thing isn't bad. As long as it's like, I guess she's staying busy. She got to have hobbies. Yeah. I was going to say that. Like, but some, she's some pretty staying, busy. Staying busy. She's pretty important. busy for a while, though, until they start school, pretty much. Mm-hmm. She's pretty busy. Yeah. But then that's when you just be like, babe, let's go ahead. It's time to chase your career. Yeah. yeah One of the housewives I follow on TikTok, like, they have like a chef that comes by like three times a week. Mm-hmm. They got a nanny. Give her a like, break. Or like so, an all pair. Like yeah. if they want to so travel. Like she travels with them. She watches the kids. They do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> yeah. Type shit. Like she really just should. Like swear to God. She is. Like, oh, the, like the nanny's not there every day. Oh, but like okay. some days. Because she's like some days. She was like I don't want to do this shit every day. She was mm. like I do. Some days I do want to come home. Right. You know. And you know. If I'm doing whatever. I run my errands. And you know what I'm saying. Cook my husband dinner. Shit like that. She was like but every day. Seven days a week. While raising three kids. Yeah. There's no way. I could do that. So she just yeah. breaks it up. So she breaks it up. So she does have like other assistants. She's got so, off days. For sure. Yeah. So she can go get her hair done. Because that is her job. Have a spa day. So. You know what I'm saying. If she's, <sighs> her husband. So, so her husband gets on. She's like if she's not feeling 100%. Then she can't take care of the household. And the kids 100%. Yeah. So if you need yeah. to go out. Go a little shopping. Get your nails. Get your hair done. Come back. All right, yeah, yeah. Now maybe I do want to chill. Maybe I will mm-hmm. cook some dinner. You know, what I did this. What's her name? Fucking um, two o'clock. You seen that girl on TikTok? The one who like makes everything. You know from I scratch. do. You know I have. Yeah. Nora Smith. Everything from scratch. Nora, Nora Smith. Nora, search, Nora search Smith. Search Nora Smith. She's a model. She's a supermodel who's married to another supermodel named Lucky Smith. Who he is a uh, he's a Mormon, 
Um, yeah, my so, little sister was telling me that a lot of these girls are being exposed for being Mormon because it's not something they really openly talk about on so, the yeah. But the it's because she's like fucking channel. 22 well, with so like three kids. TikTok is actually low key dominated by Mormons. Really? You know that, right? Oh, shit. No, yeah, no it's actually, I never heard that. Yeah, so the white woman content on TikTok is like a lot of it, like surprisingly, to say that there's such a small population. They're a Mormon lot is what is Mormon. I don't know. So her husband Mormon. is Mormon. She says she, she hasn't came out and said that she is. She, um, she didn't like convert or nothing like that. She did say that. She was like, she didn't convert or anything like that. She just, you know, she's still learning. You know what I mean? But from her having two, three kids and, and fucking pregnant what is at this 22. Fit? What is this fit she's, she's wearing? She's fucking Mormon. It's the, the housewife fit. It's the housewife fit. Like, yeah, bro, like when I tell you, she'd be like, oh, my kids wanted a grilled cheese. Bitch, sit there and make bread. Yeah. Facts. I know, right. She bitch made, the, bitch yeah, she made the, the fucking bread. cheese. Right. She made the butter. She's like, like let me go milk the yeah. cow real quick. Bitch, yeah, did you, nothing is from the store. It's, did you go to Egypt grown. and get this sea salt from the Dead Sea today? It's pretty crazy. Yeah, click, click, click this video. I don't know what she's making, but we're going to watch her do it from scratch. Whatever it is. With this antebellum fit. <laughs> No audio. Yeah, it's odd. It's probably TOS anyway. So I added some milk, citric oh, acid, and ran oh, it to my God. pot. Let that sit, and then Speck sliced it all up. Transferred my curds to a cheesecloth to let all the whey drain out. Let that sit for about five to ten minutes, and then when all the whey was drained out, I added it back to the pot with my heated up whey and stretched it. Once it was shiny and smooth, I formed it into a ball and placed that in some cold water. Then I made a really simple pasta dough with some eggs, flour, olive oil, and salt. Kneaded that until it was all smooth and then wrapped it in some plastic wrap to rest for about 30 minutes to an hour. My favorite part of cooking any meal is chopping. So we started chopping up some carrots really finely, some celery, and some onion. You can use purple onion or white onion. I just love a good purple onion. And then I brown my meat in my Dutch oven. Add so my vegetables, some tomato paste, some crushed tomatoes, and some herbs. I let that simmer for about 30 minutes to 45 while I prep my lasagna sheets. I cut my pregnant? dough into eight pieces mm -hmm. and then rolled them out into Always. rectangles. <laughs> when it was about time to assemble, I made a quick you know, mushroom sauce to go in between the layers <laughs> and then started putting it all together. I put down a layer of the ragu some bechamel, then my lasagna sheets, and then kept repeating that until I reached the top. At this point, I took my mozzarella, sliced it up, and layered it on top. I decided to only do one layer, but feel free to add any other cheese that you want. And then mm. I popped that in the oven for 35 minutes and I don't pulled know, it out. It's kind of oily and looking. It came out so perfect. But since I couldn't wait, I burnt my tongue with that first bite. Probably Let's make some lasagna. I don't know what her nationality is. She's so fucking pale. Is she? She's cute. I love her lips. Like her lip, her mouth is yeah, really cute. Good. Is this supposed to be a thirst trap? Like, was that supposed to be sexy? No, it's a little ASMR. -ish. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's ASM. It's housewife mm -hmm. ASMR. Like, yeah, there's so many yeah. women that do this. Some of them don't even fucking. Yeah, talk. she's not. She's definitely not like. That shit was sexy as fuck. Let's be real. Come on. No, man. it was, but she's not selling sex, though. Yeah, like, no. <laughs> like, okay. she's, selling, she's just attractive. She's selling oh, the oh, young God, housewife. This is way worse. This is like, but she's a supermodel. Yeah, she's a supermodel. Oh, yeah, 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 she, she, she can't look ugly. Right. Yeah, her yeah, yeah. and her husband yeah. are both supermodels. Yeah, yeah, plus, yeah, she's like, <sighs> you had the cheese in. <laughs> That's the ASMR aspect. <laughs> And she's pregnant. She's she doing was, all of this like bitch. I know you're fucking exhausted. Like, you yeah, have to has, be exhausted. This has, okay. this has all the male like like all the heterosexual male like they're like. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I like, feel like no one's actually trying to learn this recipe. They're just like, damn, she's sexy. Like, what? Like, it's like, oh, how do I get this? Yeah. That's how, that's how yeah, niggas yeah, like, it. It'd just be funny to me because she was like, my kids wanted breakfast. They really wanted some cereal. But instead of feeding them processed cereal, I'm going to make some. Bitch, sit there and make cookie crisp. Bitch, you just yeah. took six hours to make <laughs> yeah. them. Bitch, it's dinner time now. Well, that's the thing. It's like, maybe I'm a hater, but part of my brain is just thinking, like, what if this shit is actually trash? You go through all that. Just, and it's just not good. Good. No, yeah, that. Like, what if it's Her just not good? Like, it, like, I've watched numerous videos. Of hers, and I'd be like, "Girl, this food is not good." I'm, I'm looking no, at it. So? I don't think it's not good. I don't think it's that amazing. The lasagna looked kind of flat the and one, greasy. The like, one gonna... food she made was some chicken wings, some buffalo wings. Those look good. Oh, but I remember I'm... those. Those went, those, those, went, those went platinum in the black. Uh, <laughs> that was it. Other than those, that, those went platinum on the black timeline. She made Oreos. Platinum. She made Oreos. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, made, that's I the mean, thing. She did See, just I don't know. See, I don't know if it tastes bad, but then you also got to remember. Our taste buds are like, completely different. They're yeah. se like our taste buds are seasoned for GMO. Yeah. So like when, so when we don't have it, we don't think it tastes as good because there's not 
But when it's natural, like when you go overseas to Italy and Spain and stuff, even the fast food places and regular restaurants, a lot of their stuff tastes completely doesn't, different. It yeah, tastes it completely different. Oh, yeah. It doesn't have the processed food. So yeah. it's everything is actually seasoned perfectly. Your your taste buds just aren't you're accustomed to Lowry's and shit. You know what I mean? So you're saying they're just killing us over here? Hell yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. I've seen a lot of videos of like people that have just moved abroad to like Germany, Switzerland, shit like that. And they have the same brands of shit that we have here, like cereals, pop tarts. But you know America what I'm saying? gets poison coke or everybody else gets poison. Exactly. Coke. So yeah. this one girl, she was just like, I literally buy the exact same groceries that I would buy in America that I buy here, but the ingredient list is is seven ingredients in this pot in these pop tarts compared to a paragraph or in America? Or 15, she was like, "I've yeah. lost twenty five pounds since moving to Germany, and I haven't yeah. even changed my diet." Most most oh, people, yeah. yeah, most people just lose. You're gonna lose weight just because you're actually eating like real you're supposed food. To. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, then that lets you. Yeah, that makes me think of the whole like obesity problem over here. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's, uh, no, it's, it's, it's all that shit they're putting in our food. It's oh, a yeah. Yeah. all the additives. It's we have a list that. of ingredients that are legal in America that are not legal in other countries. Yeah. yeah it's sure. a, it's, it's crazy. all it's by a design. Yeah. So sure. that's why I'm like, you know, people think that it's because people just have a eating problem. It's not always that. It's just like what they're eating. Yeah. You know, like they can eat the same, and then genetics and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Eleven banned foods. America's. Americans should US stop eating. Oh, okay. <laughs> what ingredients Everything. are allowed in the U.S.? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. I'm about to say, it's going to be some crazy. I'm not even going to tell you. Know, it, 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 it might depress <laughs> us and shit. Yeah, you know? like, even trying to read those names, yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm going to be like, Yo, fuck first, this shit. The first ingredient is titanium, bro. Wait, what? Am I reading that? Is that titanium? Titanium yeah. dioxide. Yeah. Chemical oh, the titanium. bromiated vegetable oil that used to be in uh, Mountain Dew. They took that out. Oh, they, oh, they took it out. That because I couldn't for the life of me. I used to get like heartburn. And fucking like stomach aches from drinking Mountain Dew. Yeah, because mm-hmm. yellow number five. No, whatever, the bromated whatever. vegetable oil. Oh, that was like the last ingredient in it. Mm. Yeah. Well, before like the yellow dyes. But they yeah. took that shit out a few years ago. I remember that. That BVO. Yeah, we, we don't want to cry on the podcast. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah We're going to be crying while eating our next meal and shit. Um, Find out your favorite food. All right, so mm-hmm. let's go to this yeah. real quick since we're yeah. on food mm-hmm. um, and crying. Instacart has given North Carolina an award for being the sauciest state. So North Carolina are so passionate about their barbecue, even their buffalo wings come with a side of vinegar-based sauce. When it comes to saucy showdowns, they've got a southern sizzle that can't be beat. Ordering more, they have more of the barbecue sauces and buffalo sauces than any other state. This is by Hmm. Instacart. And Instacart is like... uh, it makes sense, actually. That makes sense. Instacart is like food delivery and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like DoorDash where you can get them yeah. to go pick up your McDonald's. They go or pick up, right? yeah. They go pick. They go to the grocery store for they'll you. They'll do anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah they they go to CVS. Yep. Yeah, they do That's everything true. on Instacart. Damn, so they're saying we're number one. Number one in all oh, the states. Shit. We order the most. We yeah, we order the most barbecue and buffalo sauce. Oh, we order the most. Oh, okay. Out of all, which is as soon crazy. as that weather break, it could be winter time. As soon as it hits seventy, niggas is on that grill. Oh yeah, I just got a free <laughs> yeah. grill by the way, so a new one. I'm about to break that in. Oh, so yeah, of, yeah, <laughs> yeah a nice one. I'm gonna break in, you know. A nice one. Yeah. I do. Need electric a new charcoal. Grill. I mean, I gotta clean it up a little bit. Charcoal, but okay. It, well, gas. My fault. It's okay, gas. gas. Yeah. Okay, it's gas. Oh, yeah. So yeah, gas. It's like I want both. Honestly, I have like, that, yeah, I feel like you have both. You got to you gotta have. Yeah, you gotta have both because, like, for me, the gas is. Best for convenience, mm-hmm. exactly. But the, the charcoal is really where you want to go the most flavor. of the time. Yeah, flavor wise, the flavor yeah. too. But yeah. I want a smoker, that egg shaped smoker. I want that motherfucker. But, but, but yeah, yeah, doing, yeah, but doing the whole smoker, doing the charcoal every time you want to grill. That's a bitch. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Bro. You talking about three, three or four hours to make a meal? Yeah, yeah exactly. Just to make the meat out of the right. meal. Right. Hopefully yeah. somebody's in the house making exactly. the, the fucking size. If you got a partner, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, because at least y'all split it up. You better have a bottle on the blind. I'm telling you. Wake up early. Yeah, just be drunk. Especially because I'll make like barbecue chicken, but the bar, bro, it just takes forever, dog. Yeah. It takes forever. It's dog. like you you really have to love it. Because the, yeah. the prep is no longer just prepping the meat. It's prepping the fucking grill and the meat. Like, it's going to take, take, take me 20 minutes. It takes 20, 30 minutes for them coals to get white. Yeah, yeah. So I'm waiting for the coals to even heat the, hit the right temperature. That's but true. I am ready before it gets too hot. Too sweltering. In do you have a grill? You don't have a grill, do you? No, nah, I need a new one. Mm. Well, what's your grill, man? Up now? I got a little mini one. Do, Damn, nigga, you like an old person. They Put it on silent. <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. 
like, do you not know how to use it? <laughs> 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 well, y'all know, y'all know it's that hell weekend. It's that it's that weekend. Oh, it's that weekend. what being on call? I'm on call. So, oh, uh, yeah. you have an answer though. Ready. What's happening? It, it, it ain't it ain't that number, but I got to keep it on just in case it is oh, that number. Okay, okay. Okay. So that's why that's why I peek at it before before I hit it. Okay, okay. Because I'm like, if it's that number, I'm gonna have to walk out. Yeah. Like his pipe bursting and shit. I know. Yeah, we did have to do a cookout over here before. Oh, two, yeah. The, the, the last, last time we even had one? Because Years. I thought we had one, one last It was cookout. like near a pool or something. Or, or I, th- I feel like the last time we had a cookout, we staged it just so we could shoot something. Yeah. Yeah, what did we do? It was a video. It was a video. With like some water guns. Yeah. Oh, the For Cypher. Wonder. The yeah. Wonder Cypher. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. right. Yep. Yeah. That was the last one. Yeah. Shit, what was that? That was 2016? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm Pre-co- sure 2019. 2019. 2019. So right before, COVID. right before COVID, yeah. mm-hmm. right before the yeah. the beginning of the world ending. Yep, that was a legendary freestyle though. It was, yeah, it was. Then there was a cookout pool thing that I missed out because we did that one. Yeah, that was in care. That was in Whoa, Apex. Yeah, but remember yeah. I had to skip Joyce? it. Camden. I couldn't come because so far. I was trying. It was to at the. It was at the, was the Camden. Camden. The Camden uh, we Lake used Pond. to. Yeah, Lake Pine. Yeah. yeah. That was, I mm-hmm. remember that. That was crazy. That was kind of lit. And then Joey disappeared for like months after that. What the fuck is wrong with him? Joe. Joey. Did um, he disappear? Joey, uh, Picasso. yes. I don't remember him disappearing. He, you don't? He disappeared at that? I yes. So. Yeah. I think I remember that. Oh, wait, I do. Yes, oh, he did. Like, he nigga, disappeared so- from the pool and said he would be back. Never came oh, back. Oh, and, and then, then, and then like, like, days people were looking like for him. Like, days. Uh-huh. And yeah. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck are you on? Honestly, I forgot about that. Yeah, crazy. I, ass, ass, so. I did too, too. I just remembered that. He's back now. I seen him a couple months ago. I have no idea. Uh, he just commented on one of our YouTube yeah. videos like yeah, yeah. two days ago. Actually. I chopped it with him like a few weeks ago too. Yeah, so yeah, he yeah. back now. Yeah, I had no I, idea what happened. I completely forgot about that. It, it is always funny when somebody that you grew up with like goes missing because that also happened to a dude that we went to. Um, I won't say his name just because it might be an embarrassing moment for him, but you know him too. Okay. Uh, let me hit. Let me everybody go on mute real quick. Wait. Oh. Do you remember that? Yeah. The no, nigga went missing? That. No, I don't remember that moment. Oh, your mic. Somebody's mic Somebody's is Somebody's mic off. is off. I'm still off. I'm on now. All right, uh, we back. Say. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't remember that, though. That nigga went missing one time. For a long time. Parent, mom came to our house. Yep. <laughs> Asking oh, you for... did tell me that. I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, you did tell me that. Yeah. And I was like... When fam- when family's involved and they're looking, it's... Yeah, that's what I was yeah. like. That's when it gets but that, but that one was crazy because I had just happened to see him. Yeah. Maybe like 24 hours like randomly downtown. I was like, damn, nigga, I haven't seen you in years. He's like, yeah, like it had been like a four year gap since I seen him. And, and then it was just weird because right after that, she showed up and I was like, what the fuck? Like, what is <laughs> happening? Yeah. Did you tell her you seen him downtown? I did. I was like, yeah. I saw him 24 hours ago, actually. Like, yeah. I was like, bro, I don't even have his number. Yeah, that was wow. the thing. Damn. <laughs> Y'all and in that high was school? Like resolved. No, no, no. This is after high school. Oh. Yeah. But it's somebody that I've known since high school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, but what the fuck was he doing? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I never figured you out. You never figured out. Yeah, I, mean, I, just I know about that. You, you still don't know now? <laughs> no idea. He's doing great. I know he's doing great now. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, uh, okay. yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> March 11th. <laughs> <laughs> mark, yeah, mark that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. I even forgot that you said that. Yeah. But yeah, 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 the nigga doing fine now. So <laughs> hey, whatever, whatever that hump was, he made it through. Damn. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta get off the off the grid for a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's see. All right. So now, <laughs> maybe we'll do it. I haven't looked into anything. So yeah. was the voting for North Carolina? Is that for the governor? That was for. I know there's go- there's two Jerry. governors. So there's two governors Crickets. running right now. I don't know about no politics. And I don't know. Well, I do know who the two governors running for North Carolina is. Mm. And the only yeah, reason refreshing. I know them is uh, it's John Stein and Mark Robinson. Mm. And every time I see them posted <laughs> on, like bankers. Every, yeah, pull that up. Every time I see them posted on, uh, uh, yeah, put this on the screen so niggas can see this. So, see. <laughs> so Reddit, of course, is gonna cook you like. <laughs> Because Reddit be having political <laughs> ass people on there. Yeah. So, like, let's build more homes is under John Stein. Mark yeah. Robinson, homosexuality yeah, is an abomination. abomination. <laughs> and the, the Jews, Jews own all, all the, the banks. <laughs> so, <laughs> this shit is crazy because every time I see a flyer like this posted up, yeah. it's always, like, the nigga has said some crazy shit. Uh, <laughs> and I haven't, I've never seen him on video. I've never seen him talk or nothing like that. So, then there was another thing in there that I posted, and it was about this article where he blames uh, racism. 
he blames something. So Mark <laughs> Robinson is a Republican, I guess. That's what I'm assuming. That's it's Republican. Be, right? Accused of bigotry. I don't, bigotry. Know. I don't North, know. But I don't but the red tie to me, I thought Republican. It's Republican. Yeah, it's Republican. Okay. But yeah, accused of bigotry. North Carolina governor candidate mm-hmm. claims that he's the real victim. Click on that link, that MSNBC link. The real victim of what? Bigotry. Oh, okay. All right. But that doesn't seem these see, that's not Republican, that's Republican talking Republican. points though. Republicans, oh, he's black, a Republican. Like black Republicans, they they normally say shit like racism isn't even real. Right. I feel true. like oh, not, you won the primary. Well, well, like we're so it. well with the, the Republican the Republican talking point is like white men are the real protected class because they're the ones this that guy's are under nuts. fire. He quoted Hitler. Go ahead, uh, go ahead, he read black. it. He black, too. Since he won the North Carolina primary earlier this month, the state's one-term lieutenant governor has faced criticism for a long litany of comments and interviews in sermons and on social media in which he quoted Hitler, referred to LGBTQ people as filth, depicted Muslims as terrorists, and said certain Hollywood actresses were dressed as whores. Is he from, like, the 1800s what or something? What the heck? <laughs> Face with questions. Face with questions about whether he is anti-Semitic, homophobic, anti-Muslim, and misogynistic. Robinson, who was black, naturally <laughs> responded by arguing that actually he is a real victim of bigotry. Ironically, Robinson made this allegation on a podcast hosted by right-wing provocateur Charlie Kirk, who has called George Floyd a scumbag, said he wonders whether black pilots are qualified and argued that Martin Luther King was awful. <laughs> See if there's some videos of him just this like uh, I'm, I was waiting because I want to hear his I want to hear his voice. What was that last one? When Kurt asked why Robinson believes he is such a threat to the MSNBC crowd, the candidate cried racism. According to Robinson, liberals were only reminding people of his extremism because they fear a black man holding power in the Republican Party might appeal to disaffected black voters in the Democratic Party. Okay, he's just okay, having a good time. Yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear him. He's having a good time now. Go to YouTube and he what was that guy's doing. name? Let's Something Kirk? Mark, Mark, Mark. Charlie Kirk? Charlie Kirk and well, Mark Robinson and John Stein? Yeah, no, 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 not John Stein. Mark Robinson and Charlie Kirk. That's where he was oh, making no. them crazy so statements. So this guy right here is—he's literally running a Candace Owens campaign. Like he's just—it's just—he's he's like page so. for page. He's doing her. He's doing her shtick. I guess I haven't. Candace ain't been on that type of energy in a minute though. Well, it's like it's just like anything that anything that black people perceive as something where it's a transgression from white people, she has an excuse for it. Right, she has a defense for it. Well, I, I want to fully judge this man. Go back. Let me see that 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 walk was kind of crazy. Or how you feel? He had the CPAC, bro. That's just like that in itself is like, yo, that energy's got to be off for a black man. All right, let's watch this nigga. <laughs> He's one of our candidates. <laughs> All right, the, the big bad timer says I only have 12 minutes. Now I have 11 minutes and 31, 30 seconds. So I got to get started right now and get this going. So the very first thing we're going to do is always, we're going to give thanks to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hey, pause. <laughs> I don't want to watch anymore. You, you know, I, I knew, you know enough. <laughs> I knew it was coming. No, no, no. Because yeah. he he had a crazy walk, but then yeah. when he started talking, I started thinking of a pre, a, peach, a preacher. A preacher, yeah. And only a preacher can get away with the whole the lean in and the heavy kicking back in, or any only somebody leaning on religion can just like consistently be like LGBT belligerent. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. like for sure, for sure. They're yeah, the only yeah, one. Like yeah. you have to have. That's kind true. Of, yeah, because they could use that as a backup. That's your backup. That's, yeah, that's, that's your always backup. their backup. So they're for normally sure. the ones who really lean in and don't yeah. like don't waver at all because of religion. Well, yeah. you got to That's like well, that's that is um, the bar. That's the lowest bar for conservatives. You got to be Christian. You yeah, because I, I kind of openly Christian. Yeah, it was kind of yeah, like sure. once you know you saw all what he was saying in text. It was kind of like that was my first judgment. It was just like. Okay, well, okay, so he's Christian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, let's keep going. Just because, let me see how he rallies these white folks. Yeah. Do it every time I speak because we live in a blessed and prosperous land. When Americans <laughs> get up out of bed, I mm. believe the first thing they should do is thank God. Because God is the reason why we are the way we are. He's the reason why we have our freedoms. Our freedoms came from him. They don't come from man. We should give thanks every day because of that. We should give thanks for the blessings that we have in this nation. So we give him thanks first and foremost. Well, let's get right into this. My name is Mark Robinson, I'm 35th Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina. First black, first black Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina. And I'm running to be the Governor of North Carolina. That's right. 
That's and right. As we travel the state, we like to tell people the story of how Republicans have turned North Carolina around. Prior to 2010, North Carolina was three to six billion dollars in debt to the federal government. We were furloughing state workers, not because we didn't need them, but because we couldn't pay them. Teachers didn't get a raise for six years. Nobody wanted to come to North Carolina to do business. Taxes were too high. Regulations were too stiff. Then Republicans took over in 2010. And now, 13 years later, not only do we find ourselves not one dime in debt to the federal government, we have a $5 billion surplus. All right, hip hop. All right, let's look up this other nigga. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have to go down the rabbit hole, you know? John Stein. Yo, I'm not going to lie. The math, the math, the math, oh, that's went, a little weird. He crazy. said 13 years. We're talking about three presidencies, okay? Trump, yeah. a Republican, was only in office for four of those years, and then he got not impeached, but he got voted out. I think the majority so in eight, So, like, the majority of those years that he's describing were Democrats. But I think so he's talking locally for the state, though. I know that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. saying like, like, but like, you know, like democratically. And also, I think, I think it was the same. I think we were democratic in North Carolina. For like the last, we voted that. I think so. I think eight of those four years we were democratic. I think it matched Donald Trump. Like we had a Republican during that part. But yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. either way. Can I do it? Okay. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. You poll that's out now. Mm-hmm. Uh, two of the folks you could face in the fall, you do better than mm-hmm. if you face them on the GOP side. One in particular, though, the current Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, you're tied with. I mean, you talk about within the margin of error, you're right there, tied. Um, what do you make of that? What does that mean in terms of work to do if you do end up being the nominee for the fall election? Well, North Carolina elections are always close. We are a very closely politically divided state. Uh, and so I anticipate whoever I run against in the general election, and it will likely be the lieutenant see, you governor. You can find him talking it's to gonna people. Be- I got to see how he talked to his niggas. That's what I'm mm-hmm. going <laughs> He's probably going to Because, I mean, like the other one we was talking, it was most probably most likely white people in that room. Right? He was going yeah. crazy, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was cooking. I mean, if, yeah. if that's the shit you want to hear, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. To be real, Josh Stein's probably going to win because he's already the attorney general. He's not going for governor, though. I thought they said he was. Didn't you say Josh Stein, the, the AG, he's the AG right now, and he's going for governor? North Marone? Carolina's government's race? Yeah, both of them are going for governor. Right. He's Yeah, Josh Stein is currently our, our attorney general. Oh, yeah. And oh, he's, yeah, he's yeah, 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 He's running for governor. That's what I'm saying. He's going to win. He's, gonna, oh, he's yeah, probably yeah, going to win because he's already got clout. Well, the other one's got clout, too. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they talk. Right. Good evening, North Carolina. <laughs> I am Josh no Stein. <laughs> no sweat, right, bro. <laughs> this video is also. I was only thinking the same the shit. It's only coming out. Sometimes it's, it's, it's only on the right it's just, side. It's just but it's the fine. video. Yeah, well, the video was playing in like a weird. I stereo. am a husband, a father, a proud North Carolinian. Sorry to the listeners. Your Attorney General, <laughs> and now the Democratic nominee to be the next Governor of the State of North Carolina. Oh, oh, that's sweet. I agree. He is swagless. <laughs> And, and a I sweet. want to thank our current governor, Roy Cooper, for his kind words and more yeah, importantly, Roy's been for in what for a long he time. Done I say he can't run no more. I, I, that's why I'm thinking he's capped out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I feel like he capped out. Niggas is like he's maxed out on his yeah, time. Yeah, I, I really do feel like that. I don't know if it that's agree, the case, the but whatever the governor limit is, yeah. I feel like he's definitely surpassed that. I shit. think Roy is two terms in. I think. I think. Mm. I think. I think he said two terms. It feels like three. Something like that. All right. I, I, I don't know. But yeah, I agree. Roy, I feel like Roy's been in there for I a while. I feel like he's been a governor since I've been in high school or something. <laughs> yeah, for like real. for like my whole life. Like I don't think I don't know if it's that long, But it's been, it's been a minute. I can't remember, I can't remember no other governor before Ro- besides Roy Cooper. We, <laughs> either. we want to hear more of this? Yeah. Under Roy Cooper's leadership, we have so much to be proud of. Together, we expanded Medicaid. You cut this shit off. Like that was so it. That's all you wanted to hear. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. North Carolina, this is what we have to go against. This is why we be. This is why the Republicans be winning. That They're doing was, that because it's a, it's a retirement state. So he's trying to pander to the old people. Who we are? Yeah, like Wake Forest is like a retirement community. That's just Wake Forest, though. But I'm just is saying, North Carolina. At? I'm like, no, I'm just saying, oh. just North Carolina in general. Like people come here to True. fucking retire and settle down, have families. Mm-hmm. Our race is pretty here. close, though. They are right about that because it's I like feel 50 like 50 for real. Be yeah, kind of close. It's, yes. it's, yeah, they really be. Anytime I have watched some sort of election, that should be you don't know where it might go. It's normally down to. 
to the wire. It's so they really got to go crazy. Yeah. Well, because well, the, it's a clean split almost in that our rural areas are almost totally red. I was about to say literally. Oh, red. And yeah. our cities are almost totally red. And we're progressive. That's true. Like, yeah, Durham that's is 100%. so progressive. Raleigh's so progressive. All these places. Charlotte, but, all of that. Yeah. Right. That is true. Yeah. The rural areas are 100% red. Totally red. Yeah. Uh, 100%. Even the black people are, are like lean red mm-hmm. in, yeah. in the rural yep. areas. Yeah. You can yeah. see some black people with Confederate flags out there. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it. Yeah, make that make sense. So this is what <laughs> yeah. we're uh this is what we're faced with uh North Carolina. This is what we have. Yeah, I was gonna say like so based options. on that, you know, because th- the black dude, what's his name again? Um, Mark, Mark Robinson. Robinson. Mark Robinson. Um we were saying that he does have swag, right? No, uh, for in sure. terms of like he's got preacher swag. And, yeah. For sure. Yeah, 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 yeah on all that stuff. So, but but let's say if he has like fucked up ideas, but then the other guy, he doesn't have He's swag, a- but has great ideas. What are we voting people for? Their level of swag or their idea? You got to pander to the people, man. Yeah, yeah. You got to you go so, vote, so you how vote well for they the pander. Yeah, well, you're voting for which, you know, you're voting for what you ideologically, ideology, you know what I'm trying yes. to say. Yeah, right. Line up to the most. So yeah. even though like I didn't listen, I haven't listened. But what this is did? the first time yeah. I've listened to either of these people. Yeah. But like Mark Stein even though he don't have no swag, he might be saying all the things that I want to hear. Right. So I would vote for him. Yeah. But I can also Mark's- see why people will vote for Mark Robinson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mark. Yeah. 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 I, no, I got um, confused. With I think yeah. with governor, you don't get enough TV time or airtime mm-hmm. to really present yourself, um, your personality like that. That's so. all mm-hmm. local politics. And I feel like that's, that's by design. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're way, they're, be, they're way behind on, for a reason. They don't want us. They don't want us having our hand in the local shit because that's what we can really affect, actually, and change. Right. So, like, them true, not yeah. jumping on social media, it's stupid for somebody trying to win. Mm. I'm running for something at some point. Mm. Like, I've always said that. Y'all ever notice when you be voting, there's always categories where, like, there's nobody that they're running against. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just one nigga. You, you yeah. find an uncontested spot and you just go I'm for sure it. I'm sure I can it. get it. Just to get my initial feet wet <laughs> into up. government. No, straight mm-hmm. up. And then I'll, like, level up from there. But no, it's right. like... I could just be like president or whatever, state general, secretary of, like, of treasury, secretary of waste or something. He's gonna, yeah, you know he gonna be the HOA president. Oh yeah, God. but there's always <laughs> there's always like multiple spots on the ballots where it'd be like one or God, two. Pe- it'd be like one person. Yeah. There's nobody you, competing. For there's that. nobody competing. Yeah. You, there's only and even you, if, <laughs> if nobody votes for them, they win because nobody they would yeah, 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 only want responsibility. All of a sudden, you're like yeah. Parks and Recreation. Yeah, president. Yeah, president or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, stuff stuff like that. So uh, that's how I'm going to get in first. Yeah. But I'm taking advantage of social media for sure. No, yeah. that's how you do it. Yeah. But yeah, I think they there's a reason they don't mm-hmm. lean more in. Now, the nigga running for attorney general now, he won, actually. Mm. He doesn't leave the timeline alone. Holy shit. shit. I've never heard so much of a local politician's message, message than this dude. They just cooked him recently for taking some money. Who? AG, Not Stein. John Stein. He's the current. You talking about the one before? I'm talking about the one that's running now. He said. Uh, oh, so he's running. For so it. the the attorney general, I, I feel like. I mean, he's he's higher up, but I feel like it doesn't directly affect us, does us as much as our DA does. Our district attorney, that's a big deal. That if, is a big deal. If that's you a ever big mess deal. around, if you get in some trouble, the DA has a direct. You're talking about one of these dudes. On. His name is Jeff Jackson. Go to Jeff Reddit. Right go to Reddit yeah. and go to Jeff Jackson. Yep. Yeah. Jeff Jackson don't get off of Reddit. Hmm. He really? makes he addresses the people once a day. I I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, click on. I didn't know JJ be on that, be on be on Reddit though. <laughs> JJ. <laughs> <laughs> I love getting people that I don't know nicknames as well. Jeff Jackson, right there. <laughs> click on that one. Makes it more personable. Click on that and then voice. click on his name. Or you... Oh, it just goes straight to his name. Oh, that's me on that. Uh, Sorry, y'all. Yeah, just go to his name because this is 11 months ago. But it's got 85K. No, no, no. Just click on his name. It's right there. Oh, I didn't even know. Yeah. Um, yeah, look at this nigga. Want to play it? You know, oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's a little risky to talk about the State of the Union from your kitchen these days, but let's give it a shot. So I went to the State of the Union. It was my second and final time attending. What is this and I'm gonna take like you inside suit? the room. So <laughs> we're all on the House floor. It's the House, the Senate, the Cabinet, the Supreme Court, and the Joint Chiefs. My wife, Marissa, was in the balcony. Honestly, one of the best parts is just milling around before the whole thing starts. 
believe it or not, everyone is in a pretty good mood. People are upbeat. The fake anger crowd drops their facade a little bit and they're smiling and taking photos. Okay, they bring well, in the senators. Of so y'all see this, right? <laughs> what's, he, what's he trying to set the stage for? Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, he gives a, he addresses the people three times a week. Like minimum this? every time. Every about time. Anything? Yeah, I feel like this it's a little risky to talk if about. If he this. can't get in front of his camera, he'll check in on the phone. Oh, shit. he. I know. I know everything he's done <laughs> in the last twelve months. This like, is like really thoroughly thought out response that he's giving in this dry. Clean oh, hoodie. the nigga will go in there. He'll get something passed, or they'll be debating. He'll give you a play by play on what happened in, in DC today. Oh, he be like, so let me tell you, I went finally out there. Yeah, so look, this is a different one. Yeah, yeah finally, <laughs> it's because he posted one time and then he cross promotes it to all the okay. cities gotcha. in North Carolina that have also have Reddit accounts. Yo, so why did the suit have the same lines as the hoodie? I don't understand why the hoodie looks like a suit. <laughs> he's just hey, so suit. he's 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 probably had like an actual stylist who like knows exactly where his lines are, what makes him look the yeah, best type shit. So, that makes his neck look long enough. Yeah, or something? so it's know. like yeah, this is all by design. Nothing is fabricated. Well, it's hey, all fabricated. Hey, so I don't right, know what's going right, to right. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, so I don't know what's going to happen tonight. It's primary election night in North oh, Carolina. Yeah. Normally, this. I would this be in one. North Carolina because I'm a candidate. I'm running for attorney general, but I'm also in Congress, and we have votes in Congress tonight. So I'm in D.C., and we're going to be on the floor of the House roughly when polls are closing in North Carolina. So for me to tell you the results, if we know the results tonight, uh, I can't do that from inside the Capitol. It's against the rules to do any campaigning inside the Capitol. So if I know whether we won or lost, I'm going to have to go outside the building and maybe across the street and tell you what the outcome is. And I don't know what the outcome's going to be. So I will keep you posted. Okay. We won. <laughs> See you soon. And thank you. He is across the street right now. Yeah. Okay, am I there the only one? All right, so that, you want to win? That's how you win. Yeah, That's true. Yeah. He, this he, is how you win. Yeah. You know what I'm promise. saying? Yeah. He I kept mean, his promise. He went across the street. I don't know. I don't follow him or anything, but I mean, he seems pretty genuine. Like, he, I, seems I don't know. Like, his, he has very kind eyes. He feels he like, like, me of like a, a nice, sweet dog. He feels like, like a really, I mean, like, yeah, like, yeah. Look at look at his bio. Look at soldier. Look at literally about to say his kids fucking love him. Look at his over the shoulder bag that he's still. <laughs> and it's not a satchel. It's like one of those briefcase ones no, with like those, front, yeah, yeah, those fat yeah. front pockets yeah. that he yep, probably yep. had for like 25 years because his wife gifted it to him on their 13th like anniversary. anniversary. And he'll only like, get a new he, he probably his wife probably bought him a new one for winning. Exactly. Like, I'm yeah, gonna I want to get you like, a new yeah, one. Yeah, that was only, all black. Yeah. <laughs> silver, <laughs> silver like, buttons and shit. Yep, she probably said you hurt your shoulder. So yeah. He, oh my god. But he's kind of getting dragged right now okay, yeah, on Reddit. Me. Because apparently he got exposed for taking money from some corporation, something that has to do with the TikTok ban. Isn't that called lobbying? Or something like that. But they're like, I think people are trying to use that as a reason to cook them. I don't know mm. if this is right or wrong. Okay. I mean, I know all politics is a bunch of money exchanging anyway. and a bunch yes. of... It's, it's, all a, it's all a grimy game. Blame but the, the game. The effort that he puts into making it look clean and professional is yes. commendable. Commendable is the right. Yeah, yeah. commendable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like he looks like, a, you know, like your favorite algebra teacher or something. Yeah. yeah. I've, <laughs> never, I've never seen... First of all, I barely know what like... Mary Baldwin looks like, and she's the mayor of, of Raleigh. Mm -hmm. It's like I've 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 never seen and heard so much from a local politician yeah. than him until this mm -hmm. nigga. Popped no, he's up. very popular. I definitely agree. Yeah, yeah. he's cr it's he's up there. He's he's figured it out. You he's know, that's if you want the people, you got to go where they it's are. It's as easy as this. Yeah, and it's funny. Y'all say he has kind eyes, but it kind of fucks me up how he doesn't really blink much. Yeah, yeah, even when he was talking, like he was no, I, yeah, I, kind but, eyes maybe on the outside, but he yeah. looks a little evil. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's a little something in he there. looks like he's capable of a lot of things, so whether, like, whether, whether they be good or bad. That's what I'm saying. Right. Which I, might be he, good because he mm -hmm. might be able to lay down the law. Yeah, he has the he has the <laughs> intensity of like he's willing to go there. He, he reminds me of uh, what he what's that show? Uh, he reminds me of Kevin from Sin City. Can remember oh, Kevin? Y'all remember Sin City with Bruce Willis? That, yeah, yeah, that I remember. Comic oh, shit. Book. I forgot about the motherfucker, that. the silent killer, it, okay. Elijah Wood. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Oh, he would just sit there and stare at you. Oh, yeah. He would just sit there and stare at you. Damn, smile. I haven't seen that yeah. movie in a long time. That movie kind of fucked me up visually. I couldn't even really follow the movie because I was like, man, this is the craziest looking movie I've ever uh, seen. This is one of my favorite movies. It's green screen the movie. This is one of my favorite movies ever. Sin City. That's the first time that they started using green screen really heavily in movies. Elijah Wood did his fucking thing. I ain't gonna hold you. 
Yeah, and it was a great departure from playing Proto, yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. But, yeah. So, yeah, man. Yeah, so, I mean, he looks like, like a yeah. shit zoo. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jeff Jackson, I mean. <laughs> Keep doing your shit. He got it figured out. <laughs> yeah, he got it figured shit out. Shit Mark. Uh, like yeah, a Pekingese. What's the name? Mark. Yeah, got the most flat the most. Mark Robinson. Yeah. It's, what's, Mark Robinson's the other candidate. Charlie right? Klein. Yeah. Steve Klein. See, okay, so that's the difference. Like, Mark Robinson, he kind of preaches it to you. This dude, he talks to everyone like they're his four and three year old child, or like a, like like they're Who's his student. Yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. like he's just yeah. teaching you what simple you, math. Which is what you're supposed to be doing if you're like break it down for a me, local you know politician. I, mean? I don't know yeah. who none of these local politicians are. Yeah, but he's I'm like, definitely gonna be checking in on stuff that's less run under. Mm-hmm. Get me a little card. Whatever it is, you know, I work for the government. <laughs> mm-hmm. Give me treasure. Give me like, it's funny because he's really going to fucking do this and it's going to work. And yeah. I'm going to be fucking dying. Yeah. Yeah. Park, look, hey, look, hey, hit the soft spots, bro. Like I said, parks and You rec. niggas think I'm bad now when I get pulled over? Yeah. I'll be talking crazy oh, to police. Shit, yeah. You know who the fuck yeah. I am? <laughs> Nigga, my, license, my ID is coming over with my concealed carry license and my government employee card. Hey, <laughs> let's get to Yo, it. Yo, but nigga. can you imagine? <laughs> let's get to it. But here's my thing. Like, can you imagine how lit the city events, the events will be if you, if you got it if you infiltrated parks and rec nigga i'm the coolest nigga off the rip bro I'm just saying, i have like, online presence yeah, like i'm yeah, automatically already. the coolest nigga in the city and like the shit is amongst be- congress see if aj can come see if mm-hmm. you know, see if andrew can come yeah, yeah. oh yeah yeah they use a real name and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> next thing you know this nigga gonna have a car parked up here with a nc permanent license plate on that <laughs> yeah, <phone. laughs> yeah. <laughs> niggas gonna see me with that orange license plate yeah <laughs> <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Yep. This nigga got what needless hands. What the yep. fuck is going on? Yeah, this shit about to get crazy, mm-hmm. nigga. With them, with the, it's, it's, it's not yellow. It's, it's not orange. It's yellow. It's right? yellow, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Give me a card. Look, I'm going to give me a little white charger or something. There it is. It's always it's white. It's always a white charger. Yeah, yeah, it's a white something. A white SUV, <laughs> like a mini SUV, some Honda shit. Yep. A white Tahoe. With a baby tent on it. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. No, no, you sound like, I wonder if, like, if that's like the inner thoughts of like, Trump when before he was like to start gonna run and shit. Mm-hmm. He's like, let me see if I can just do this shit. Yeah, use literally. my swag and <laughs> like do it. And then I he feel like it, did it. I feel like it really <laughs> wouldn't be that hard. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because yeah. it's all popularity contest. It's just getting people on your side. It's getting it's the popularity contest. Oh, for sure, like, for sure. That's all it is. Yeah, and telling them what they want to hear. And like the Democrats, they don't be doing enough smear campaigns either. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the Republicans have no shame when it comes to like we were about to we're about to drag nigga we're about to drag you for six months straight. What was that? Right, the like, Democrats to play <laughs> like once right. a week we will have a new hit piece out on you. Right? Like what's, they just don't yeah. care. Wasn't there one like either last year or two years ago where it was like one candidate was dr- was claiming Getting the dra- other it one was, was a, Sher- Sherry something? Uh, you know, Sherry. What was her name? The black chick who Sherry Baldwin? Not Sherry. Sherry. Toe? It was share. No, no, no. I mean, like, whoever it was, like, they were saying they were a PDF file. Oh, that was that. That that was Wiley Nickel. Oh, really? (laughs) Wiley Nickel. They was on his head with that. But I couldn't believe that. That was like on television. Like, yeah, no, that was crazy. What they said? Why they accused Wiley Nickel of being uh, a being a a, 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 a PDF file? Uh, Yeah. 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 I would. I got that commercial text to me. Oh, I, did, I, I saw. Like, like, I, did I got the commercial. text message of that t- commercial. Yeah, I did. Oh, bro, they yeah. were going so crazy on his head, bro. They, Wiley, going, they had like three different commercials. Look, I, I saw it on Channel Eleven. Yeah, Wiley <laughs> never stood a chance. No. Like no, once yeah. they really put they once they were like we're about to bash you, it was like yeah. once a week, and every time I'm like, God damn, like nigga. don't don't forget, <laughs> bro. Like please, nigga, fight back, bro. Like what are you this gonna shit vote for? crazy. There was a candidate in Virginia that was running for some type of Senate seat, and he was okay with like. PDF stuff like For he was promo- he's like promoting it. Oh no, that's crazy. Well, that's crazy. Like a lot of people argue the age of consent and whatnot, but like you know, it's a really common. Do you remember? Point. Do you all remember? Just like growing up, there would be those dudes when we were like eighteen and nineteen. Mm-hmm. I would say between all men between eighteen and twenty have experienced one or two dudes that were like. They start counting the years yeah, that's of crazy. consent. Yeah. Who are really trying to walk that Romeo walk that yeah, 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 yeah. Like they're yeah. like for wait, yeah. wait, what? Wait, what? For so, you or oh no, or you like, just knew somebody who you, was counting. Like, you friends. run into a dude like that. So like oh, okay. he's 18, yeah. but he'll fuck with a 14-year-old, which okay. that's technically that's crazy. But basically. that's technically a senior and a freshman. 
Right. Which yeah. that's right, kind right, of right. like a classic stereotype too. You it know, is, it is. I mean, Fresh outside meat. of high school, it's not a big deal because that's just four years. No, but, inside but of high school, school it's not school. that big of a deal. I feel like I feel like it's less oh, of a really? deal oh. when they, when there's when a still senior, in high school when they're in right, the high yeah. school. You're but in the same one, building. But once you're in your sophomore yeah. year. Or your freshman year of college, and you're dipping back for your sophomore oh, girlfriend. Oh, so doing too much. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. and it's like eighteen and sixteen. All of a sudden, it's like yeah, yeah, she's yeah, sixteen yeah. or she's fifteen. You're oh, like, because yeah. oh. in high school you heard like, dudes say, you know, fresh meat or whatever. Like, you right? Know what I'm yeah, like, Whoa, it's always yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. But there's always that dude. Like, even when we're like, I feel like we run into and. He's 19, but he'll he's fucking with a 16 or a 17 year old. You, you ran like, into niggas like that at Wake Tech. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he's like, oh. yeah, but you know this the four year thing. Like, you know, the age of consent is this age, and then I also we're also within the four years. I'm like the fact that you have to like he brings out papers. It's like yeah, like the fact yeah. that you even had to like study the law <laughs> to figure out if it's legal mm-hmm. to be fucking with this chick is weird as fuck. I know, it's like, yeah. but that's why they got on that Transformers movie that came out, the one with Mark Wahlberg, and he had a daughter. Because in that movie, I haven't seen it, but from what I heard, there's a scene where her boyfriend, like she's in high school and her boyfriend is much older and mm. over the, the age of consent. And he, the Mark Wahlberg confronts him about that and he pulls out a card saying like it's a Romeo and Juliet law or something. Right. It's a Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. I don't know much about that. ass for that shit. What? Yeah, but everybody that's was crazy. just like, this isn't a Transformers movie. Wait, Michael Bay, what are you trying to say? That, that's what yeah. people were asking. Like, yeah. Why, why in this Transformers movie, and yeah. they say it goes on for a while. So it's like, why are we having this discussion in the middle of a Transformers movie? <laughs> like, can no, you, does, can no. you search that? Yeah, yeah. So, I want to see that scene. Now. Yeah, he actually. So it, you're right. You're right. I, I know exactly what you're talking about because throughout the series of a several scenes, he actually makes a case for the room. Yeah, yeah. Romeo it's like the, yeah, it, it makes a case. And, he, and like, Mark Wahlberg doesn't fight against. Okay, it. Look, that, I understand that, it. That I'm movie like, flopped too. It did. And like, I, I, I can't to a degree, it's like okay, that's fine. High schoolers, if you're a senior and your girlfriend's a sophomore. And you you turn eighteen at a certain point. What does that mean? All of a sudden, but the yeah, that's come different. For you? Yeah, no, like, we talk I, about I get the it. weirdos. Well, that's that's the Romeo and Juliet clause. Yeah, is that a, just because one of the partners becomes of age and the other one becomes in a the minor middle all of a sudden? Dating. Right. Mm. So like, y'all were both minors at one point. One becomes not a minor because you've been with her. These niggas are still. Weird. It's legal. Yeah. Right. But let me watch this. Don't put this on the screen because definitely. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I definitely won't. Might even mark just mark where it starts too. Oh, bright side, you guys met. You know, I never noticed. Like, what is with this Where's lighting? Hold on, hold on. Told yeah. you he's a driver from Texas. Texas? Where? Dublin, Texas? Shamrock, Texas? Then why does he sound like a leprechaun? You get your ass kicked in Ireland for saying that. Oh, we're not in Ireland. Lucky Charms, we're in Texas. And so he drives? What do you mean he drives? Like, for a living? Yeah. He see, makes a living. Thank you. <laughs> Look, I race rally cars. One driver? One navigator. Her. By the way, I'm totally legit. I just got picked up by Red Bull. And just so you know, product please. My life savings yeah. was in that car back there. This is not happening. Oh, it definitely is. How old are you? Twenty. She's a seventeen year old girl. So we can work this two ways. One, I punch you right in the mouth and you call the police on me. Dad. Or two, I just call the cops on you because this is illegal. She's a minor. We're protected by the Romeo and Juliet laws. We dated for a little while. I was a sophomore and he was a senior. It's fine. No, it's not fine. We've got a pre-existing juvenile foundation relationship. Statute 2705-3. <laughs> what? Oh, no. I'm That's Texas his ass. statute? That's nasty. That a real He, he leaned way yeah. into it. He did research. Romeo and Juliet, huh? And they showed the statue. You know how those two ended up? No. Dead. <laughs> Do your parents know about this? Is your dad okay with you dating a 17-year-old girl? He took off when I was five, but if I ever bump into him, I'll ask him. You know, Tessa, I trusted what? you. To what? Never have fun, take a risk, be a normal teenager like you? I am your father, okay? And I have been busting my ass to take care of you. Is that what you were doing when you brought home the truck? All you uh, had to do was that might be it. it, and now I'm, I'm having a feeling that dead. might be it. They're but, debating. Yeah, yeah, they're debating. It. Yeah, statutory grape laws. Yeah, so yeah, so okay. I guess people would. I think this is also the these same. Are, these are white people issues. Like, oh, what you the, about the truck? I mean, what I, you I, 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 I don't thing. know. If it, I don't know if it's like that. For that, for that situation to go down, the way that it did, 
Bro, if you pull a statue out, I'll just catch a assault on a minor charge. That's nice. That's, <laughs> yeah, like, that's, that's true. Light. He said all that shit like a real deviant nigga who's like doing this for a different. He reasons. really thought it through. Yeah, right. it wasn't yeah. even like some yeah. like oh I fell in love with yeah. her in high school. It was like this nigga was like I'm protected by just the law. Just in nigga. case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ew, that's nigga, that's no, no, no. Weird. Not even just in case, but I'm gonna get myself into a situation like this and then but have protection yeah, when it happens. Yeah, yeah, you know, like be, yeah. So so that's what I'm saying. This was a that was in a Transformers movie, and it's just like what what is happening here? Why? Why? I mean, look, these characters are fictional you could have just made them the same age michael bay is trying to <laughs> protect yeah, well, yeah. his rights is that based on a true story <laughs> why do we even have this whole scene yeah they both could have been 17 it's personal but, <laughs> but, but that's why that scene that's why that 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 transformers fucking flopped shit like that yeah, yeah. <laughs> also i i did hear here that what what was it budweiser that he just said like he mentioned budweiser? red bull, red red bull? bull. Yeah. yeah i think that's the movie where it's like in the final battle or something like sh shit like that like he just brings out a Red Bull real quick and drinks it. Oh, it's just oh, like yeah. the product placement in that in that movie, nasty. from what Red I heard, Bull's is printed crazy. on the side of the car. Huh? Red Bull's printed right on the side of the car. His rally car. Yeah, it yeah. might have been. But uh, still, in the yeah. final scene, finding a moment he to does. drink no, a Red just, Bull. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. They say like he's on the, that on the side nasty. of the car. He pops a bottle. And just, that is nasty. Damn. And it's just like God damn. The movie was shameless. <laughs> yeah, I mean they kind of all are, but I agree. Like it, it can Ugh. get worse if you believe it. Disgusting, but yeah, yeah. Nasty like shit, the way man. they force fed us that yellow Camaro from the first Transformers. Oh, the movie. Yeah, they do that. Well, they they did that tastefully. I, I, I had a, I had a, a yellow Camaro phone case. They did that. Everybody tastefully. wanted one. I get it. Yeah, they, they kind of did. I do. still want one. Well, only because it was the release of the new body style and exactly they coincided. The two. And it's because and it's because the movie is about cars, so it's like whatever yeah, cars you put in there. That's yeah, that's you know not a force feed. It's not that much of a force feed. They did a trifecta though. They threw in that Kid Cudi joint, "The Sky Might Fall." I thought that shit was fucking crazy. Oh, I man. remember when that track came out. And I was like, damn. Songs. One of the Transformers? I can't remember. It was the first one. I think it was first, oh, the, the first Sky one? Might Fall. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I think that was the first step. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was movie was damn near perfect. The second yeah. one was the best one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah the wait, wait, Kid Cudi. The best. second one was the best. Wait, Kid Cudi didn't come out until 09. The first Transformers came out in 07. So was the second one then? Yeah, probably the second one. Maybe the second one. Maybe. Well, no, but they Kid dropped Cudi the didn't new... exist. Didn't I feel like Kid Cudi was out way before that. I, no, no, I mean, he, he existed. But I know what you're saying. He was man on the moon. It was just man on the moon shit then. Yeah. Do y'all remember Poker Face? Hell yeah. yeah. Remember yeah. how big when that When he was? covered that, when he, when he covered that track. Oh! oh that, was, that, was, that was Man on the Moon? Yeah. I that, think was that, just, was, that was actually just a single. It was. You're right. Yeah. But oh, it was on Man on the Moon. that was part of the Good no, Fridays. No, it was on Man on the Moon. Was good it was? Fridays. It was track 11. Okay, okay I think that okay. was part of Good Fridays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it had Common, too. It did. It did have Common. I forgot about that. Oh, and Kanye. That song was. They were all on it. Like I said, yeah, it was big. It was big. Yeah. He was killing them every Friday. He was dropping a crazy track. Yeah. Because he had a Good Fridays, insane. Matter of fact, I'm gonna download them. Get back like when I when I get back to the crib. Hey, look with the Transformers movies, I like dropped off at a certain point, but I I mean I I still really like that first one though. So like, yeah, amazing. I had yeah. to jump back and remember it was done. Uh, Shia LaBeouf really made that a good movie. The first yeah. three, the yeah. first the first yeah. three were crazy. All yeah. the ones with Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf, those LaBeouf, were the three yeah, with those him. Are the ones with yeah, those three were. With he him. he really made that, and like that was one of the first times because everybody loved him from Even Stevens. That was one of the first yeah. times I started growing into really fucking with Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. Because he was like really making that laugh. I was like, this is blockbuster film. That transition from yeah, TV That was his legendary yeah. moment. Or you that's his legendary trilogy. His breakthrough. Yeah. yeah. He was, that, yeah, in 07 and 08, he was really having a breakout year with yep. Transformers and then what, Disturbia? Yep. Mm -hmm. Disturbia was crazy. Eagle Eye, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. That's when yeah, I was like, run. I was like, yo, Eye. this nigga has range. Like yeah. he might be one of them type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I knew he had range when they that Disney movie, True Confessions, when he played the, oh, the, uh, the mentally kid. disabled kid. Yeah, I remember that. Oh yeah, that played the yeah. fuck, nigga. <laughs> I ain't never crazy. crossed so goddamn hard. I was like, the fuck is what? this? He went full. <laughs> He like, did? He played <laughs> a special kid. Yeah. It was a, it was went, a Disney went, Channel went original movie. Tarred. Like, he yeah. went. Y'all going to fucking hell. But no, no bro, I mean, he Downey went Jr. full on. That's like, like, like Cuban good at It was like, like yeah. full on Rain Man Same type shit. Full. Like, yeah. yeah. But that's he like, played mentally, but he played the fuck out of that role. Like, and it was a Disney Channel movie. I cried so bad. I don't, I don't, I don't remember, do remember this. Yeah. It's True Confessions. It's on Disney Channel. Yeah, that I mean that's Disney just like Plus. that's like when Cuban Gooding Jr. Radio. came out with radio. radio. Yeah. <laughs> Told y'all, yo, but he couldn't shake that. We were talking about he couldn't shake that shit. <laughs> no, black, we gonna joke on you forever. <laughs> <laughs> we still call niggas radio. radio. Just call him radio. We still yeah. call niggas but, radio. I mean, honestly, Cuban Gooding Jr. didn't get a new identity until he played OJ. Right, oh, like, yeah, like right. he didn't get like a new, yeah. He right. didn't, that was a long stretch. He didn't yeah. get like a new pop culture identity. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, until he played OJ. He but once he was dogs. OJ, the scene of him coming out in the handcuffs, mm -hmm. it was like
No, because he's fucking burnout. You'll be seeing a nigga wilding out. You'll be <laughs> coming up to random people's Wait, tables in public like, and like, shit. I feel like Omar be... gets more love in public at this point. Yeah. Because he's Omar. calm. Omar from brother. Baby Boy. His brother. Yeah, yeah. Omar yeah. Gooding. Sweet Pete. Omar Gooding. The bald head. Omar nigga. Gooding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Baby Boy. The bald, light skinned uh, Light skinned you know, nigga. Yeah, that was his brother. Only, and on, for me. AJ! Look, <laughs> hey, look, for me, Omar is. Omar Baby is, Boy, is, come on. Omar is getting more like. Oh, Y'all niggas is on drugs. Yo, that's his brother. I just think. It's okay, funny. that could be his brother, but him getting more respect to Cuba Gooding oh, Jr. Oh, okay. yeah, is yeah, crackhead stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. like that's crazy, yeah. nigga. Yo, what? I'm, no, he's like thing. he's good in the hood. Cuban Gooder Jr. is good globally. Yeah. I agree, but no. But here's the only reason is I say that Omar is rec- still. No, only reason I he say Omar is recognized. Absolutely. Y'all remember uh, Guts? Yeah, that's what he was on. He was the host. He was the host of like every Nickelodeon game show. Like <laughs> Mad. Yeah. yeah. Or not, or not, no, double, not, double, sorry, double Dare. Double Dare. Or, or one of those. One oh. of those. He was like. I'm not saying he not lit. He was like Y'all the niggas just guy. tried to put him on the same level of, <laughs> as his brother. As Cuba, yeah. and, I mean, that, and that's crazy. Well, what, yeah. Cuba is an Academy Award winner. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. But hold up <laughs> now. But hold up. Okay. I was about to say. Now pull up a picture of current Cuba Gooden Jr. Who Un- cares? Unfucking recognizable. <laughs> no, I know who that that's is. I'm saying he burned out right now. Unrecognizable. Wait, wait. Isn't he like. Like he had allegations. Isn't he canceled? Or some shit. I don't yeah, know. I don't read yeah, that far into it. With the sideways smile, this Cuban is a so fucking legend. Most bro. recently, like, yeah, crazy? He is, yeah, he is. it's not even close. Mm-hmm. Most recently, what he's been in the news for is because of that whole that P Diddy lawsuit. Yeah, with the oh, with the sexual the assault. Yeah, Hell whole, yeah, he's involved. In Apparently, that? the assistant or the the photographer, yeah. whoever the guy was, Cuba didn't. P Diddy basically tried to pass off him to Cuba. Yeah, and he was talking <laughs> about Cuba was like rubbing his legs, started rubbing mm-hmm. his thing. Nigga said, "You want my old Um one? Yeah, <laughs> like he's he like he basically like. Him and it's like it's documented, yeah. Yeah, uh, mark those. yeah that that P Diddy thing is out of control. Yeah, that's just, I gotta read that case, man. That, that case, yeah, because really I so read all 38 pages of that. Motherfucker. Yeah, oh, Let me tell you, I feel like there's new info daily. Dog, them mother, d- there's a book. <laughs> Dog, these motherfuckers are been out of control. sick. That's all I know. Yeah, Diddy's Diddy, been- like, he's not at, at one point. I thought he was like gay. No, he's not gay, he just likes power. He don't give a fuck who it is. Yeah, he's he's yeah. a predator. He's predator. a predator. He's yeah. just Triple purely he's purely a predator. He gets off on other people doing predator shit. He likes doing predator shit. Like it was like minors in there. You got your sons involved. That's that, that's like, the thing. Everybody that's always weird. tries to make it like it's like a gay thing, but it's like no, it's no, a predatory. It's a, thing. It's a predatory yeah. thing. Yeah. It, he don't care if it's a man or a woman. Too. Yeah, he don't care. Yeah. He don't care if it's a man. It's, it's just a power yeah. thing. Yeah. That's that makes it. sense, I guess. Sicko. Terrible. You know, it, it's crazy. I can't. <laughs> I was listening to like my old school shit, like music from ni- 96 and 97, and I'm yeah. listening to it, and I'm just like, damn, like half of these people are fucking canceled now. Like, what the yeah, fuck? You know, ass, like, yeah. I can't, like everybody from like back in the day, they're just getting canceled for shit now. It's like, God damn. I can't listen to nobody. One by one, all of our, all of our uh, childhood. All the greats. Yeah, that's it. They're just like, oh, what you talking can't about? Can't listen was, to all about the Benjamins. Like, nigga, no. I was just playing Step in the Name of Love. I about last to say, week. Oh, I, was, <laughs> yeah. I still listen oh, to you him. Step, <laughs> you were stepping in the name I of love? Definitely God damn, my boy. You best, best that, believe, nigga. I, you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't listen to uh, R. Kelly. R. Kelly like that. That. I, mean, I, I don't either. Like, if it comes on, yeah, I'm just fucking around. If it comes on, it's it comes on. But Yeah, yeah. I never owned his music or anything, but but I love the tracks. Yeah. Right, I, right. I do love yeah. the songs. I believe I can. If it comes on, I'm going to jam. Yeah, yeah. Sure, pretty sure, much. Sure, if it was sure. about a bottom on show, like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I feel like the only one of his songs that I actually play is "Step in the Name of Love." If I play a song from mm-hmm. him, the one I will play is "Same Girl." Me and Paige get drunk and we listen to that song, and she be R. Kelly and I be Usher. I was say, that's, that the, that's the combo record. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was that was yeah. Oh, Usher, do you know yeah. which one I really like? The one with Snoop Dogg and R. Kelly. The, that's that shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah it was Snoop Dogg featuring R. Kelly. Mind. That's that shit. Oh, that one. Yeah, I remember that. that was What's good. the name? Um, Trap yeah, in the yeah, Closet, was... like part one through oh, three. Oh, my. That was crazy. <laughs> that was a moment. One bro. through 13. What you mean? That was classic. Play, yeah, play facts, all of them shits right now. Shit. Uh, play all of them right now. I bet you I sing a word for word, bar for bar right now. I'll act that motherfucker out. What? I had a DVD. You got to call a spade a spade. Well, no, no. I take that back. I take that back. Sorry, not Trapped in the Closet. That's obviously a banger. All his collaborations with the Isley Brothers. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. dude. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Mr. Contagious. Big. The Contagious. That's what Mr. it was. Contagious. Contagious. That's just crazy. Yeah, right? yeah. Contagious, Contagious and Mr. Okay, Big. Those are crazy. Yeah. See, it just sucks, man. Like, when... It's crazy the though. Talented people, like, yeah. they just what a shame, shit. right? And, like, and it's funny, because the, the image does stain the music a little bit, because I really haven't, like, gone out and searched to play these songs, even though I know they're bangers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you actually are having trouble separating the artist from the art. 
in a sense, I guess, but not like no not like consciously. It's not like I was doing it. But if I think back, I can't remember the last time I went to search for the record. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I wonder if the last time you heard it on the radio or some shit. If you exactly, so we're not gonna play it on the radio. Exactly, it's not being fed. I can't get it on Apple Music, so I know it's never gonna come up on that. But oh yeah, I forgot they did take them off. Yeah, so I don't know. I guess that's that's what it is. So he'll just. I think I agree. I definitely be separating the artist from the artist. Oh yeah, I do. I searched the graduation track like a week ago. Yeah. I like, do. Oh, I still yeah. listen to XX Tentacion. It was a piece of fucking shit. Yeah. Kanye is different. But, but that motherfucker music slaps. I love Floyd 555. I just listened to it on the way here. Speaking yeah, of music, was. problematic. All right, let's get into this ride out so yeah. we can get the fuck up out of here. Yeah. All right, so the Three Oak podcast ride out. We haven't done this in. Man, this is a, a month of Sundays. Back. What the? Uh, year? Just, a year? Maybe. No, two years at yeah, least. Yeah, probably. It's been at least two years since we did this. So we'll play a little Probably snippet yeah. of a song. A song. Yeah. A snog. Yeah, <laughs> snogging? Uh, you fucking song, that's snogging? For us, you know what I'm saying? Represent, Come here, snog. Represent the week. Yeah. And then we'll just give you a snippet, not the whole thing. And mm-hmm. then, uh, yeah. Maybe a verse. <laughs> so mine is uh, Nipsey Hustle, Hustle and Motivate for this week. Nice. That's, that's the song that I'm riding to this week. Yeah. So uh, mm-hmm. you like to hear it? Here it go. Hopefully. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, man. They they took him away on purpose. Right. All right. I got this. Uh, I got yours up next. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot what it was. <laughs> Mick Mick uh, Jenkins. Yep. Yeah, man. Featuring featuring our boy Spready. <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Spready. Yeah. yeah I'm, just I'm fucking crying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to point that. Out. But yeah, He's man. Never gonna let that shit down. Yo. All right. Here it goes. Show and tell. Featuring Freddie Gibbs. If you'd like to hear it, here it go. I have to. That's kind of hard. That shit was hard, bro. Fred, yo, yeah, that was the one where yeah, I, that's the one. Crazy. Yeah, that's the one where I was like, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think well, AJ would like. Hey, what was the name you of that again? Crazy. I almost um, picked that show track, and tell. Yo. You literally, you yeah. took, you took. Like, show I, and tell. I, I had to, yo, I had to, I had to call an audible. You literally took my track. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm like, no, that, that is crazy. crazy. I wish I was joking. That uh, line that nigga said. What do you say? He said, my pockets is fermented. I said, damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, he said uh, money aged like grapes, nigga. We getting fermented bags. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That nigga's yeah, that's crazy. stupid. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. No, that shit was hard. Y'all should have let hard. it ride the first. Yo, Freddie's, Freddie snapped on that shit. Y'all should have let it ride the Freddie's verse. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nah, but we can't do the whole spready. thing. Yeah. He said, spready. <laughs> All right. Uh, then we got. Uh, I overheard that one. Uh, we got Cherry next. Yeah. You remember yours, right? Yeah, mine is um, Get It Sexy <laughs> by Sexy Red <laughs> because, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, the, that's the anthem for the summer. <laughs> yeah, play that shit. If you like yeah, to hear it, here it goes. I think that yeah. was the first time I heard yeah. her ever. Sexy yeah. Red. Yeah. Sliding in a bean. Fucking love that bitch. That song has got a crazy. I like that. I like fucking it. Yeah. That song's hard. Yeah. That's the only song she has that I like. Like, if I was playing in the club, like, yeah. I pulled up on my homeboy. He was playing that shit. I said, yeah. yeah. That song's hard. That, that shit song's is hard. hard. I heard yeah, that yeah, somewhere. Like it. No, it's the way that. they layered that shit, too. You heard, I know yeah. you heard that I mean, shit. Nigga, that shit's hard. That song's hard. Yeah. I'm his favorite. Yeah. Oh. Now the whole shit go under me. Yeah. All the way. She's got the regular bar. Nigga, it's killing it. It's actually a good song. Whoever structured that song went crazy. I don't like melody. None of her shit. Honestly, I'm one of the only niggas who don't like none of her shit. That yeah. shit goes to me. Yeah, right, this one, yeah. this that was that song was a little too well structured. Like that yeah. was that <laughs> was like it. a hit. That's like let's just make a hit real quick. Yeah, that sure. was yeah. it right there. Which I agree. Yeah, because that because those low undertones of that uh, 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 it almost brings brings me. It's almost uh it's almost Texas like. It's like, uh, like it makes Texas. me. What you say? She's from. Um, is that what it is? It's a it's a theme song. You know she's from St. Louis. Yeah, I've almost. Heard, I feel like I have heard it before. That melody or that cadence or whatever. But that's that, that's that down south shit. It is yeah. that down south shit. It made me think Texas and like Memphis for a second. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's St. Louis, but yeah, it's right there. But all right, your song is up next. Oh yeah, shit. Well, shit. This that uh, off that Schoolboy Q that new album Blue Lips. Uh, this is Lost Times featuring Jazzy. I really fuck with this record, man. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? You like to hear that shit. Let that one rock. That was a good one. That was a good one. He's got to be so extra. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Alchemist. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. He yeah. went crazy yeah. on that shit. Schoolboy yeah. Q with the Alchemist. A dangerous combination, yeah, it's, man. It's automatically. It's just nasty. Yeah. Can rock with it. Yeah, it's always funny, too. Just like, Schoolboy's the only nigga that's just going to get on the track like, ah! 
I woke up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love that shit. Like the nigga might not even rap, like rhyme for four bars. Yeah, like, yeah, right. it's just same but it's gonna be perfect. It's, yeah, go, it's, it's gonna, gonna make perfect, so much right. sense. Yeah, though. yeah. Woke up in the morning, fresh grits in that bed. You know, just whatever. <laughs> like, just say the wild. Which why he fits so perfect with Alchemist because sometimes the beat takes like. Sometimes a minute and a half to not, you, you can't even yeah. yeah you can't even rap on it just yet yeah, really. the drums don't mm-hmm. even actually come in until like the very end yeah, yeah. and then yeah. the song ends it's just kind of <laughs> abstract for a minute yeah but the first time I heard that shit, even just the intro part, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, which is oh, completely baby, different. Nigga, oh, I'm black, two kids. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that shit was hard. I was like, oh, this is about to doing go crazy. A, yeah. Doing a delay on the drums, I think it I think it gives people anxiety a little bit, which makes you pay attention more. I think yeah. so, too. You're right. Yeah. It makes you, because you're, you're trying to catch the beat. Everybody's mm-hmm. waiting on the drop all the time or right. waiting, you know what I mean? Yeah. So not having it, it just like forces them to really just like, yeah. when yeah. the fuck is it going to happen? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it just gives so much natural progression to the record. Yeah. That's true. It makes you focus on the bars, though. Like, yeah. It really does. Like, um, all right. Last one. Last one. We did Jeff already? Last Run it up. one I had. We got Florida Mac. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Odd Ways. Oh, I ain't go either. Mm-hmm. Oh, w- shit. That's right. Jeff, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, My Jeff's bad. after me? Yeah, Jeff's yeah, after yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had Odd Ways by Mike, Wiki, and uh, The Alchemist since we're on top of the Oh, oh right. well, this yeah. is oh, perf- speaking up, right? It's yeah. kind of perfect back to back, though. Yeah. You know what? Is that is that Mike G? Nah, just Mike, straight. Oh, Mike. Oh, okay, yeah. Got you. I, I never letters, heard his... Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, all, all caps. caps. All caps. caps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike. Oh, yeah. I never heard his music. That was the first thing I heard. He kind of has... Um, he kind of gives me um, Damo Genesis vibes a little bit. Mm. That is, just that a little is, bit. You no, know? I agree. I yeah. agree. Yeah, that is kind of the... Or, or, that shit was kind of cold, though. Right. I'm not, was that a, is that a whole project or is that just, that just a single? Um, No, that's a whole project. It is? Okay. One of my Oh, favorites. Faith is a Rock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it's just Mike... Yeah, just straight. Yeah, back. all caps. Yep. Mm-hmm. You heard the whole album, the whole project. Yeah, it's only. Oh, I've t- listened to most of his discography actually. Mm. Yeah, it's got a uh, ten. Mm-hmm. It's got ten. Oh, um, the with pinball, pinball. That mm. one was pretty good. It wasn't my favorite, but um, I did like certain songs. Like uh, two door was pretty good. What are you talking about? Because uh, his cleaner. most recent project. Oh, okay, what was the mm. name of it though? Pinball. Pinball. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right. What song are you doing? All right. Uh, let's see. So. The dude, the artist's name is Twenty One Lil Harold, which is crazy. Another um, Twenty One. <laughs> never heard of the dude. I, I actually saw the video was suggested to me on like Vivo. Or oh, something. I know Lil Harold. Mm. You know him? Okay, Twenty One Lil. Harold. Yeah, that's with uh, Sundown with, with Jid. Mm. What's the song called? Sundown. Sundown. Anything with Jid. Anything, Anything with Jid. That's with, yeah. like Anything automatic. Yeah, Jid on it. Like, yeah, Jid like, yeah, went crazy. Yeah, Jid yeah. snapped, yeah. Jid snapped yeah. on that. Yeah. It's never yeah. fair, bro. Yeah, Jesus man. Christ. And the <laughs> instruments, I love the melody. Because what's crazy is that Harold, Harold had a good verse, though. That's just crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's that's 21 Savage Man's. Oh, oh I had a feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen him yeah. in interviews and shit. I've, that's honestly, that's the first Lil Harold track. Because he had that 21 in front of his name. He kept saying pussy. I was like, this is definitely a 21 Savage young boy. It's his homie, yeah. it's like I think it's his cousin, actually, Lil Harold. That makes sense. He, t- makes he brings sense. it like he he talks about him on his records. He'd be like, don't make me call Lil Harold. Yeah, he like does. Yeah, okay, yeah, he does yeah. say that. You're right. Mm-hmm. He does say I didn't that. even that's recognize right. that. Yeah. Yeah, I never knew yeah. about him. But I've seen him in interviews, but I, I knew he did music. I just never listened to his music. Yeah. But that was pretty straight, though. Yeah, yeah, that was straight. You could tell he'll keep he'll get better. He'll get better. Mm-hmm. I added right. it. I added it to my shit, but especially after listening to Jid, I was like, yeah, I gotta hear this. Yeah, yeah no, no, same man. I gotta hear this verse again. That's what that's what got me in the door. That's what got my foot in the door. I was like, oh, Jid on this track. Yeah. He snapped on that shit. Sometimes it's a feature yeah, he that went brings crazy. you in. Yeah. It's never fair. When I, shit, I was reading when the Jig lyrics on the track. It's like, what the fuck, dog? Yo, but I heard <laughs> that sample, though. That sample alone, that beat is crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I love it. Nigga, I, was, yeah. I was reading the lyrics the whole way through. So as I was, I was like, God, yeah, yeah. he was snapping. What he said? We said we deposited back with a when, Bank when of America Wa- back Wa- before it was yeah. No, when Wachovia before it was Wells Fargo. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 re- I remember that because when I was my first bank account was with it's still with Wa-Covia. Wells Fargo, but it was Wachovia. Yeah, yeah. Wachovia. I was sixteen Wa-Covia. when I opened it up Wa-Covia. with Wachovia. That's just crazy. Jesus. Yeah, nigga. shout out to Wachovia. I've always been a state employee's girl. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> since the fat cat account. Yeah. <laughs> But all right, y'all. But yeah, man. That's uh, another episode of Theo Podcast. Make sure you like, yeah. comment, share, subscribe, everything. Follow us on social media platforms. Run it up on the audio streaming services as well, too. Um, we don't promote that enough. But for mm. those who do watch every week, make sure y'all run it up on the audio as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see y'all next week. All right. Bye. Peace. Peace. Yeah, yeah.